My Australian brothers and sisters, do you love beer? I know you do. And that's why we have a very exciting announcement mm -hmm. for you Australians in particular. Trash Taste has their own beer now. Ooh! Gamers, we have been training our entire lives for this mm -hmm. moment. A mm -hmm. beer that tastes good, that we can drink and share with you. So if you think that we have trash taste, now is the time to find out if our taste is truly trash with our beer. Yes, we teamed up with family-owned independent Aussie champion brewery Modus Brewing to release the Trash Taste Pale Ale as an Australia exclusive. Ooh. I'm sorry, rest of the world. Uh, alcohol laws are very difficult, so it's only for you Australians right now. Yeah, we're just testing something new. We want to see how it turns out. So Aussies, take this chance while you have it. As you guys know, I am no stranger to beer. Uh, I always talk about how much I love beer. Mm -hmm. And pale ale is one of my favorites. And we tested to make sure that this was the most delicious. We actually had a whole testing process yep. to find the exact flavor that we all liked. And we're pretty confident that you guys are going to like this one too. It is if trash you're taste boy approved. So Aussies, make sure you pre-order in the link in the description and don't miss out on mm. our very first fucking beer. You must be 18 plus and drink responsibly. So what are you waiting for? Crack open a cold one, get your brewskis today by going to that link in the description down below and ordering some. See you guys soon. You, you can book out a private jet where everyone everyone gets a seat on it. So it's like a, someone's like a private jet, mm -hmm. but it's like a normal airline. Yeah. Damn, YouTube's really changed this, man. No, it was it was, uh, it was like the, the, normal, the normal flights were like- Gets a Twitch deal, goes on a private jet. Oh, dude. Yeah, so the normal flights were like uh, 800. Just fucking with you. I know, yeah. they're like-, they're like Four hundred dollars return from Vegas to LA. Isn't that crazy? That's so expensive for a that, one hour flight. That is very yeah. expensive. And then the private jet is eight hundred. It's not a private jet, you don't get anything nice at all. But you yeah. just you can turn up to the airport ten minutes before and it's like way quicker. Oh. When you when you get off, you literally just walk out. Damn. It's so nice. It's like we turned up, we yeah, we turned up ten minutes before the flight time and it was fine. It was like it was great. It's called JSX. So if you go to California again, you want to go around California or like Nevada, or mm -hmm. like Colorado, it's pretty good, you should do it. All right. Recording, by the way. That's fine. No, 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 no. It's no secret. The money has changed in patience. Yeah. What are you talking about? Are you booking a business class flight later, Joey? Yeah. <laughs> there's there's oh, a diff okay. big difference between that and a private f jet. Yeah, there is well, a, actually, there is okay, a big well, difference. Actually, it's just a jet, because it's not private, because I'm sharing it with a bunch of other people. So, which is gross. Man. <laughs> it's vile. That What's I have to the share difference? It. How's your carbon footprint? Yeah. Wanna? Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when, have you, when have you ever given a f on your carbon footprint? You know where he's flying Australia from? The UK, the opposite side of the world. Should I be calling you Connor Swift from now on? Oh. Guys? She takes 20 minute flights. I do one hour. <laughs> one hour the flight. Connor's like, I, the Connor's like, I want to go to In-N-Out, get the jet. Yeah. <laughs> I think Taylor's a girl boss. I don't know how she does it. You've heard of Uber Eats? Where's uh, Uber flights now? You know, I mean, what's, what's next? Uber helicopter? Wait, you can't, wait, you can't get Uber helicopter. Are you serious? Yes. I'm not surprised with you that. You can get pizza delivered via Uber helicopter. <laughs> it's uh, New York, I'm pretty sure. God. They're to all like the yachts. In like the, I'm, I'm not, okay. yeah, look, Uber Copter. Uber Copter. Watch this, Uber Copter. Yes, God, four, five years ago. I, that was a fucking five joke. Five years ago, wake up, I was up, making God. a joke. We're getting to What's next, God, AI? <laughs> <laughs>
episode, like the f- first episode and second half of the second episode. So to clarify before we get a pitch second forks, half of the second <laughs> Sorry, first half of the second episode. I'm a bit uh, tired. God, God messaged us last night at like 10 p.m. He's like, hey guys, you should watch an episode or two of the Avatar. I'm like, God, why didn't you tell me this earlier? Yeah. Well, I didn't actually know because I hadn't watched it. I was oh, okay. like, I, I was just pitching it to you boys. Have you seen the original like animation? No. Really? Okay, this, way, yeah. this is good. Okay, this, this is, is good. good. This is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Cause you got a, fr- you got a fresh yeah, yeah, eye yeah. on I, it. I thought it'd be interesting cause I would be coming into it blind. You've uh, watched it, right? Yeah, I've watched it. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I've watched all of Korra. Um, you've watched all, oh wow. You've watched oh, all wow. of me then. Uh, okay. And I watched the first two episodes cause it just came out last night. So obviously I can't watch like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know, how many episodes are there? Like eight or, ten? eight or Yeah, it covers yeah. the first book, I believe. Bro, I don't keep track yeah. of that. I don't, I don't read. Um, <laughs> what's, the, what's the first book in the original? Is it just the first season? Yeah, but it's like the first season. So they're, they're okay. like split up into books, basically. Right. It's like the book yeah, of water, the book of fire, the book of whatever. Okay. Um, the first one was the was the uh, longest, no, as well, in, in the series. I the first remember. one? Yeah, I thought so. Was I don't it? know yeah. if I'm crazy. I might be. <clears> it I definitely th- is the most filler. Well, not filler, but like <laughs> slice of life or what Freeman would call plot. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that is that is the plot, Connor. Yeah, that's a lot of plot. <laughs> they call it plot in three rand. <laughs> yeah, but so I, I mean, I, I, by, all, by all intense purposes, I think I'm a pretty decent Avatar fan. I think I like yeah. the original quite a lot. Mm. And I, I really like Korra, I don't know until people didn't like Korra. I, <laughs> I, I couldn't get past the first episode of Korra. Wait, Korra's great. First I, season of Korra, I really- It's not the Korra. same, bro. It's not the it's same. It's not supposed to be the same. The moment where <laughs> I, the moment where you well, see I don't like give you vanilla, vanilla chocolate, uh, sorry, vanilla ice cream, say hey, it's not chocolate. The moment where like you see like Katara, who's like eighty years old, is like Aang's been dead for that twenty years, and I'm just mm. like, no, I love that. It's just not my I like that. hashtag, mm. not my avatar, bro. That's just JoJo's. That, that, you, you know that's what I'm Joseph. saying? That's when you see <laughs> that Joseph. Thing. Yeah, that's like you know what I mean. When he's old, it's like what is that? Why is he old? God, I don't want old people in my God, shows. How you're feeling right now is exactly how I feel every time you fuckers bring up League. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly, I'm like, mm, yes, I understand. This, this is weird that we're talking about cartoons and I'm like, hmm, I'm, I'm having a lot to contribute now. Okay, okay, well, let's um, let's let's start with the very basic. Did you like it? Did you like the first two episodes? First episode? Okay, it's, I think it's I. Okay. <laughs> I enjoyed it, I, I enjoyed it. I, I know the bare bones basic of Avatar because mm. Jesus Christ, everyone knows the, Introduction of Avatar, mm. where it's like four nations Didn't lived in, hard. Then goes hard in lived in harmony yeah, until the Fire Nation attacks. Yep. And yes, I was like, there, there it is. It's, it's, <laughs> I it's know the that Fire means. Nation. <laughs> I, I know. And, and uh, the fact that they said that line in the beginning of the episode, and then they had an in character moment where yeah. they <laughs> repeated that moment, I was just like, no, ah. the, the beginning part, the beginning like <laughs> a, a intro part, they did like an abridged version of it. Yeah. And then the in character one, yeah. she did like the full thing. Yeah. And I'm just like, this sounds really off, I guess. And yeah. I think that's my one criticism right now. Again, I've only seen first episode and first half, second episode. My one criticism of it right now is that just some of the dialogue- Yeah, the dialogue is weird. It's a bit weird. What my, my impression was, cause I've, I don't know anything about, you know, I haven't seen what the original is mm. like or mm. how that was scripted. But my impression was this feels like if you didn't, if you didn't tell me this was an adaptation of a cartoon, you figure it out. No, no, I, this feels like a light novel adaptation, and the re- <laughs> the reason it feels like a light novel adaptation is because the dialogue and just the way people talk is weird. Is is super weird. Like there was this one scene where you know Ang finds out he becomes the Avatar, uh. and then he has this whole monologue being like, "But I don't want to give up this life. I can't be the Avatar." And he just fucking runs away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. And it's just him just narrating all of his internal thoughts, and I'm like, this feels like something about. This it feels like something a light novel would do. Yeah, you it's, know? it's weird, right? Because I'm pretty sure something similar like that happened in the original cartoon. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, when it turned into an anime, it was like I was watching like a fucking like Shakespeare soliloquy, you know? Like <laughs> yeah. it was just like, it's a little bit too d- dramatized to make to like f- make it feel serious, I, if that I, makes sense. I, I had fun with it. I, I, I you know, I enjoyed it. I, I didn't hate it. As like Twitter wants, I think everyone wants. Yes. To, oh my to, God, to, Twitter to... has such a hate burner for this. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I kind of, um, before I watched it, I just didn't look at Twitter. So I, I don't know what they actually saying about it, but I know that before it, everyone was like losing their minds. Everyone, Um, uh, from what I saw on Twitter, everyone was just like, this is like an absolutely terrible adaptation. Everything about it sucks. And and so I saw that and I was like, all right, well, fuck, nothing can be as bad as the Shyamalan adaptation, but let's see. And I watched it and I was like, the choreography and the CG is like pretty good. 
Yeah, I, 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 not I, amazing, but I, f- I feel like it's Twitter, good. Twitter, you know, with the all the engagement bait now yeah. that is going on on Twitter, because I, I only knew that this was released through all of the <laughs> shitting on it on yeah. Avatar, yeah. Uh, on that came out yesterday, yeah. and so I came into it thinking, oh, this is going to be fucking awful. I'm going to get the popcorn, yeah. going to re- ready to roast the shit out of this, um, like the fucking Fire Nation did to everyone else, <laughs> and uh, then it just like I watched it, and then. It was. It wasn't bad. I don't know. It it's not may, bad. Maybe, maybe it gets worse. Visually, it's done very well. Like I think all the costumes yeah. are great. I yeah. think uh, all the characters look great. Uh, nothing. Nothing looks out of place. Yeah. I think the dialogue is just kind of whatever. And also the one thing- that Some I, of the acting as well. The acting is like, I, honestly, I feel bad. Cause I, I, you know, he's just a, he's literally a kid, but Ang is kind of like, I'm like, oh God, it's hard to watch Ang. He's not much of an actor. And then people might be like, ah oh, man, like it's so much better. And he's just like that in the anime. I'm like, no, he's kind of like super chill and fun to watch in the in the anime, I guess cartoon. cartoon Maybe you want to get whatever. angry about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I like, uh, I like Iroh and I like, uh, what's the fuck the guy, the, I forgot his name, the guy was- Zuko. Zuko, I like Zuko in it. Zuko. Zuko. Yeah, Zuko. Goes really good Zuka in it. Great. Um, I, I also like uh, Katara and Sokka as well. Like I thought the car. I think the one thing that they did really well with this one, and I don't know, maybe my standards is just low because I'm comparing it to the Shyamalan adaptation. Sure. Yeah. But the casting is like pretty good. pretty good. The casting is pretty damn Bro, I, good. I, I could not stop staring at what, his name is Sokka. 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 Yeah. He has like the fucking. He has the most defined chin of like <laughs> anyone does, I've ever he seen mused, in my bro. life. He muse. He he. he, he looks I, was, max I turned to Cindy and I was like, bro, he definitely looked Max's man. <laughs> he he mute the fuck out of that chin. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Just, and, uh, I, I, the, the the one one thing I actually did feel like was kind of weird is that like. It Look at that jawline. Yeah. That, that fucking Sheesh. jawline, man. God. It, feels, it feels intentional that he does that with his face. <laughs> yeah. Well, because, um, you know, a lot of, I think what they're trying to do, especially with like soccer, for instance, is that mm-hmm. like a lot of the facial expressions that the actual actor does is very synonymous to what the mm-hmm. cartoon version of soccer does. Yeah. Right? Like it's the same kind of like facial movements and like attitude, which like I respect because, you know, again, that's the one thing the Shyamalan version did not do. Like if you look at the Shyamalan soccer, it is like, that's not fucking soccer. That's just a dude in a soccer outfit. Uh, one, one thing that definitely feels a bit odd is that I feel like some of the characters like uh, Zuko uh, does pretty well is mm. that like bending and uh, shooting out these fires or water, or whatever. Mm. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a, almost like a, a martial art. Right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. movement's supposed to be very martial art like. And I think that like weirdly, uh, Zuko does it pretty well, but a lot of the characters, it looks like they're like in Hogwarts when they just throw <laughs> shit out. I'm like, and it's just kind of odd because it doesn't, it doesn't feel <laughs> like it's conducive of a, like a, you need to be at like, understand the earth. You need to understand yeah. these elements and use them. And I feel like it's almost missing that at least in episode one and two. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I enjoyed a lot of the choreography, especially in some mm. of the early scenes, cause it did feel like a mix between traditional like martial arts choreography and, you know, with like some special powers attached mm. to it. Uh. Um, and especially the early scene when you know, the Fire Nation kind of like attacked the uh, Wind Nation yeah, or whatever. Nomads. Yeah, and I was- <laughs> The Air Nomads? <laughs> the, the, air, the Air Nomads, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever whatever, they're called. And I was like, damn, this is some pretty sick choreography. I will say the one thing that distracted the shit out of me in episode one was I completely forgot that Avatar, uh, the Aang's teacher's name was Gyatso. <laughs> and the entire time I was just like, yes! <laughs> also, there's that one scene where like the Fire Nation is attacking and like Gatso is like, it's, it's like, it's, I can't fucking say his name without laughing. <laughs> it, where where Gatso is like, all right, children, go, go on and go, hide, yeah. right? And then he's like, where's Aang? And then he just goes, I completely forgot about that. I just fucking burst out laughing. I was like, <laughs> like motherfucker screaming like an NPC. <laughs> like, he's like, <laughs> would be, it would be hard to be like do that straight faced. Yeah. Like, I was like, so you just want me to shout? <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess I can do that. Yeah. It's like, it's like a heavy rain cut scene. It's, just, it's just so funny. Yeah, it, it all just feels a little stiff. And I think that's yeah. the best word to describe it. Yeah. It like feels stiff so yeah. far. Yeah, for sure. And I I'm not sure if it's the acting or the writing or a little bit of both, but then, you know, there are some scenes where I don't know if they're just rushing through things because yeah, I don't know I've how- see, I've seen- I, I, I saw a friend of mine who posted like an Instagram story and they were like, yeah, it feels a little rushed. Yeah. Which is weird because I think as of right now, the pacing, at least the first episode is like pretty on par with the pacing the of the good. original cartoon. The second one, they were kind of like jumping around a bit. 
And it was kind of like, we're here, we're here, we're here. And the enemy's <laughs> here and, and, they've, and their enemies are going to find them. And next thing we get, we're there, we found them already. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's like, what the, f okay, okay. Yeah, to, to, to me, to me, it, like the thing that felt rushed was one, it was just like, okay, we need to give the audience as much information oh, yeah. as possible, oh, yeah. as fast as possible. Like the whole spiel with, uh, <laughs> the whole spiel with like the grandma being like, so everyone knows this. But hang, I'm just gonna repeat it, you know? And, and this, is, this is the entire history of everything. And I'm like, oh, oh That's okay. what I'm saying. They literally talk like NPCs. Yeah, 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 exactly. And th this is like, ah, oh, this is just an uh, oblivion NPC. Yeah. Uh, making sure you're, you're caught up. I also don't think you, like they showed the massacre of yeah. the uh, nomads. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, which is very sad, obviously. But I actually just don't think you need to show that. I think Avatar as a, as a show works and really? is understandable. Yeah, because the, in the original, it doesn't show it. Oh, It just okay. opens with Aang awaking. I think from that was pretty like, cool, coma. though. I mean, that was, I that mean, was, that I was think, a I think it's a cool scene. detail, but I actually, like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I feel like it doesn't change Aang because Aang still wasn't there. Like, Aang yeah. leaves, so Aang doesn't yeah. experience it. And I almost feel like, uh, I mean, obviously seeing that adds to the weight because, you know, Aang left and abandoned the I people. feel like they should have gone harder on the <laughs> invasion scene just to like really build up the Fire Nation. Cause I thought there were, I thought we were gonna have a full on fucking Anakin goes back to the kids temple scene where, yeah. cause there were a bunch of kids well, hiding, I mean, like, right? In the, in the scene before they literally like toast a guy. Yeah, they literally yeah. like toast and a guy. And <laughs> after that, nobody gets more than a beating. Yeah, and, like, yeah, a, like, yeah. Searing. Like it's like, come on, if we're gonna commit to charring a man and like, <laughs> it, like let's, let's just fucking go hard. I don't know, man. Gyatso got fucking crisped up. Well, because like in that a, scene, a, a, Avatar's a pretty like dark. Uh, at times, can be a dark show. There's a very, very dark. famous uh, episode that I, yeah, you know, I mean, I guess I'll probably cover it. I mean, if, do you mind yeah. spoil it if you go on? I mean, yeah, I, I you talking about the blood bending? Yeah, the blood bending. Yeah, man, that's a where, fucking like, this awesome old woman episode. goes to like uh, I forgot her name already. Have I forgot her name? Some sexist like Sokka, actually. Um, what the fuck is blood bending? <laughs> okay, so okay, so slight spoiler for Avatar. What's, wait, what's yeah. the name of the woman again? What Katara? Yeah, Katara. Yeah, yeah. Katara. Yeah, yeah. Because like, like, what? 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 Do you, what the woman what goes, "Hey, hey, what do you think is it's in blood, water? You can bend their fucking blood if you know what you're yeah. doing." And there's this one scene where like Katara is like learning to blood bend, yeah. and like that fight, that death is yeah. like yeah. easily the most scarring thing I've ever seen in like a children's cartoon. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. actually like mega, mega dark. And but like that was the point in Avatar as well, where I was like, "Oh, okay, this is this is something different. Tight. This yeah, is tight." Um, but I don't know, like, I think at this point in the story, again, I've only seen first episode, so I don't know. But like, at this point in the story, yeah, it's, as you said, it's like, it's just a bit stiff. It's just a bit awkward at times. Mm. And it doesn't feel like genuine interactions with these characters, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. You know? It, it almost know. feels like their relationship has been just fast forwarded. Cause yeah. I'm like, oh, everyone, like seems, everyone seems really close, like already really, fa really fast. Mm. And this, this yeah. seems like doesn't, it, it felt like it was not a natural progression. It felt like, mm. okay, these people need to get along and then they just suddenly have <laughs> chemistry. Well, they removed uh, Soka's sexism. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> like the, one, one of, the, one of yeah. the updates that they did was they were like, okay, so in the live action uh, avatar, Sokka yeah. is no longer a misogynist. Okay. And, and everyone was, you know, to comply with today's standards. And yeah. everyone was like, no, the point of Sokka being a misogynist is that he grows from it. And then at the end of the show, he's not a misogynist. Then he well, learns to like well, yeah, respect female warriors. Yeah. You know, like the sec second episode is uh, when he goes to the village and gets trained by the girl. Yeah. Yoshi, and then, but, yeah. you know, part of the arc of, of Sokka and making him more likable is that he was this kind of guy who had obviously these pre notions. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, you're a female warrior. Yeah, you're not yeah. as strong as the male. But it doesn't, warriors. it doesn't really yeah. hit. It's kind of like a weird love thing in the. Yeah, they're, they're going to second base yeah, way too fast. I, mean, I didn't really, if you ask me. I thought it was kind of like, yeah, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Like, but yeah. I, you know, I think it, it you know, from it's everything- jawline, man. Yeah, it's, man. It's the goddamn jawline. He like turns the village like- <laughs> That's legit, that's what he looks like. Motherfucker's face bending, man. He, he's, oh. he's inventing a new, he's inventing a new element right here. It's the, it's the avatar. Yeah. <laughs> <Aang>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, he should have, yeah. I mean, uh, if he'd done a hundred years of, you know, looking, yeah. looks maxing, I'm hearing, he might have, might have come out of chat. He said he came New out of beta boy. Yeah. What, what I don't Bold. understand, what I don't understand is how the fuck did the water tribe lose to the fire tribe? Because I was just like, <laughs> it's kind of lost over. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, seeing the fire nation attack the wind nation, I was like, okay, this is just a bad matchup but like when that girl was in like the fucking tornado yeah and the guy just puts like the fire and like the air just like she just 
crisps herself, basically. Well, no, isn't, like, isn't it the whole thing of that? Because it was the 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 comet festival. The co you find out later in the series that the comet is supposed to like increase the power of firebending. Oh. So that's why they decided to attack on that day because it's like, yeah, we might have like an elemental disadvantage, but because we got the power of comet and anime on our side, <laughs> we can fucking destroy any of the other elements, and that's how they like took over. Right? But they yeah. don't explain that in the live action. And then I think also in the in the anime or something like the cartoon, there's like. Fire can also use like lightning if they're really. Oh yeah, yeah, because Ira does lightning bending, yeah. which is also sick how's as that, shit. How's that to do with fire? Oh, well, eh. <laughs> it's close enough. Uh. Isn't that, isn't that close to like air, if anything? Yeah, uh, you know, well, you know. Well, it's, it's like plasma, like uh, <laughs> plasma bending. <laughs> plasma bending. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's just kind of whatever suits the story, and that's yeah. okay because it yeah. kind of makes sense. I am looking forward to seeing. Um, What's her face? The blind girl. Yeah, I'm interested to see how they're gonna do that. What's her name again? Shit. Uh, oh fuck, I know. She's like my oh. favorite character. Fuck, what's her name? Toph. 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 That's Toph, it. Yeah. Toph, Toph. I'm excited to see Toph because she is easily the, the best. best thing out of Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. The the air bend, the earth bending effect in like the very first scene looked really cool. Yeah, it was the really earth cool. Breaking. Yeah. And the wind. Especially one. again compared and to the, the Shyamalan. Yeah, I've I've seen that clip with the M Night Shyamalan where the 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 five earth <laughs> benders be be and it's like three rocks. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you know, back in the day, CGI wasn't as good. You know, if we you know, did the tables were turned. Yeah, I, I saw an onion article that was like, it was like a, it was like an onion article, and it was a Shyamalan quote. And he goes, "See, it's not so easy, huh?" <laughs> 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 Something like that. It was so good. It was, it's <laughs> but yeah, I think overall, I'm I, I'm like more pleasantly surprised with how good it actually is compared yeah. to like all the hate that it was getting on Twitter. The, the only thing, the only scenes that like look kind of ass was mm. when they were like in the boat, the CGI looked really bad. Yeah. And they were in the boat. What, uh, at the beginning? Yeah, it looked really bad. And yeah, I was there, like- there was, oh, some, there was some sort of shots of CGI that look a bit dodgy, but nothing yeah. enough to like really bring me out of it. Nah. But the, I mean, I the think. show looks at its best when you just let the, the costumes are so good. Just let yeah. the costumes yeah. and the, the Backdrop do all the work, you know. You got these cool buildings, these cool backdrops. Again, like, when you compare it to fucking Shyamalan soccer, there, that's second image. That's yeah. the same character. <laughs> Ain't no way. Well, like, what was so bad about the Shyamalan one? Because oh, I everything. I've, I have watched. I have never watched it. I just oh. know it's like horrible. You should sit down <laughs> with a with a bucket of popcorn and watch that one. Because I like like watch, I said, watch I, the watch the Netflix one. Yeah. And then go back and watch the Shyamalan one, and you'll realize just how much better the Netflix one is. <laughs> and then and then I'll I'll start with the Shyamalan. One and then level up. I'll start with the Shaman oh, one and then too. Netflix one and then actually go back and watch, yeah, the, then watch the cartoon. Original yeah. TV series as yeah. well. Do you think this was really good? Do you, do you think you still would have aged well? You like now? Do you think it's the like, cartoon? Yeah, did you yeah. That's still great. I, I watched it for the first time during COVID. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. cause I, I didn't have Nickelodeon growing up. So I, mm -hmm. I missed out on a bunch of Nickelodeon shows. So like during COVID I was like, well, I have to fucking watch Avatar. I feel mm. it's like yeah. a rite of passage. That's really and I watch good. it, it's amazing. Yeah, That's It's really actually good. so good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think like from my impression of this Avatar, it's a good introduction that I don't think as, is- as it often is with the no, live action. You, like, mm -hmm. like yeah. it, I, I, came into it with a similar feeling of like the One Piece live action where yeah. I'm like, I know this is probably not going to be the best way to consume the story, mm. but it's it's a cool introduction. I think it does its job. It's a lot of mixed bags in its execution, but in like in, in order just to, for me to like get interested in the franchise. Yeah, I think it did its job. You, you hear that they're gonna be making a, a continuation movie of the original series? <clears throat> What? Yeah, so apparently the original creators are going to make a cartoon, like animated film yeah. of Avatar The Last Airbender, but uh -huh. it's set with all of them in their like 20s and 30s. Oh. <laughs> so like, you, uh, after, especially after the announcement of <laughs> this and all the hate that it's been getting, yeah. there's just been so many, just people like, <laughs> I've seen so many like meme images of like fucking, <laughs> uh, and one from Family Guy where like Peter Griffin is like covered in pillows and it's yeah. like me trying not to die before October 2025. <laughs> 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 so that might be good. Yeah. Uh, but so you have until October 2025 to watch the original cartoon. Do you think you're gonna watch the rest of this one though? I will. Yeah. You Cause will? I'm, I'm genuinely curious to see if they'll actually be able to, I don't know, maybe it's just kind of having a rough start right now and it, it might take me time to kind of acclimatize to yeah. the changes. But again, like as of right now, I just think it's all right. I don't think it's 
like yeah, as horrible as Twitter is yeah, making it out to be, but it's not like the most amazing thing I've seen. Yeah, I, I don't think it's as well executed as the One Piece live action. No, oh, fuck no. No, it says a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the worst thing this might have done is it just might be a forgettable adaptation, yeah. which yeah, is yeah, probably on be. the same par as now. 80% of live action adaptations. Yeah. We don't really see like complete train wrecks anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I think the last one I remember being a complete train wreck was probably Death Note. Oh. And oh, that was actually quite a, yeah, that was actually quite a while ago. That was ages ago, dude. That was like 2016. This episode is sponsored by Factor. Guys, if you watch Trash Taste, you'd know that we are too lazy to cook most of the time. I am barely a chef myself, but sometimes I want a quick and easy meal that I know is healthy. That's where our sponsor, Factor, comes in. Factor provides restaurant quality, ready to eat meals that you can heat up and eat whenever you're ready. These fresh, never frozen meals are chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including calorie smart, protein, Protein Plus and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. They got pancakes, smoothies, and so much more providing meals for every single part of the day. You can do breakfast, midday bites, and more. And the best thing is it is flexible to your schedule. You can get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meal every week. And you can pause or reschedule deliveries anytime at all. I think Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, premium options with no cooking required. And by going with Factor, you'll be saving money if you eat out every day like Connor does. So what are you waiting for? Head to factormeals.com slash trash taste 50 and use code trash taste 50 to get 50% off. That's code trash taste 50 at factormeals.com slash trash taste 50 to get 50% off. Thank you very much to Factor for sponsoring us today. Back to the episode. Yeah. Did you guys see the trailer for the Borderlands? Oh yeah, no. I saw that. No, Have you ever see this? No, that's what gonna be fuck? a train wreck, dude. Can you show out the trailer for the Borderlands live action? Dude. I look. I, I have no knowledge of Borderlands. I've though. never. Look, I've never played came, the game either. This, but this came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, there's a Borderlands movie being Kate made. Kate Blanchett oh and, and like the Kevin cast, Hart. The cast is insane. Oh my god, Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's Jack Black. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis as well. Jamie what Lee the Curtis. hell? Bro, it looks bizarre. What a fucking weird movie. <laughs> it's so weird. This is just, I don't know who wanted this. I, I'm, I'm kind of hyped <laughs> no, for it. Nobody asked for this. I'm kind of hyped there. Like, I can't wait to watch this. This looks This looks so bad or good. I love it. This, this is this is just the FNAF movie. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> This could this could yeah. either be actually amazing or it could be so bad that it's good. Yeah, yeah I think so. Kind of sad they did. I, I don't know. I think it's the, like the first game they're doing. Mm. Uh -huh. The second game obviously is a better story, very famous. What what was good about Borderlands? Was it like the witty dialogue or the uh, um hard story? I mean, Borderlands was just really popular because it was kind of like the one of the first games that did kind of like what Destiny is now super famous for. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it was like one of the first games that did like RPG, uh, like JRPG mechanics, but with guns. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> the whole draw of it was like you get you get to pick your class, which right. is like. They all had to do different things. And then mm. you can go in a skill tree and get these crazy abilities. Mm -hmm. And then everyone drops guns from different rarity. So like you could get like legendary guns that did crazy shit. Like it could like, it would like shoot your shield at the enemy. Or yeah. It would shoot grenades at the enemy or it would shoot guns at the enemy. Also, um, it's just like mega stylized, right? It, it was like, like, really, like quite the, it was really heavily cell shaded. Yeah. And the humor was all around like 2010s gamer humor. Mm. Yeah. And then the second game was just really good because the villain was really popular and the villain was really funny because he would okay. just talk to you the whole Jack, time. Was it? Handsome Jack. Handsome yeah. Jack, yeah. He would just talk shit to you all the time in like a really obnoxious way. And I guess at the time it was kind of like, no, I don't think anyone had done that. Right. Uh, and the mechanics were really fun. I, I loved Borderlands too. It's one of my favorite games ever. Mm, okay. It was so fun playing that game. Uh, <clears throat> and then obviously Destiny kind of came and, and uh, has a lot of a similar mechanics, but added in a lot of- uh, <laughs> But were you like, expecting a live action know. film no. from it? I don't think anyone was. <laughs> I feel like I heard that this was in the works eight uh, years yeah. ago, but I don't, ex I think everyone thought like, cause you always hear like- What's the one video the game, what's the one video game then, then that Doom. you think would be good as a live action? Doom. No, we Doom already has we had the we live action. We have, we have oh, had a live get action. Dude, it was one of the we worst live action we films can, ever we made. We can get a better one. It had the rock in it for Actually, God's sake. I, I want, I want Doom the anime. That's what I wanted. Sorry, uh, yeah. live action video game. Fuck. Do you think Mass Effect would be good as live action? Uh, as a Mass Effect fan, what do you think? 
Because yeah. I heard the story is like great, right? It's the, the great. Movie. It would need to have a TV series, not a movie. Right. Like, no, a lot of them should have a like The Witcher had a TV show. Yeah. Like two seasons until yeah. they kicked off Henry Cavill. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the good thing about Mass Effect was the you know character interaction and just how well the cast of characters is written. Mm. But if you distill down the plot of Mass Effect into a movie you'll probably like take away all of like the cool character writing and character interaction and you'll just have like this Hollywood, generic Hollywood action movie, mm. basically. But I think it's so hard to say with video games because like, I don't think anyone in their right mind would be like, yeah, a Super Mario movie makes so much sense. <laughs> That's like, true. I, like, if you were going off pure gameplay, I think you'd have to really think outside the box yeah. if you wanted yeah. to actually like make a game. Like you could probably do a Geometry Wars movie if you really like went crazy enough with it and what's, about what's it. geometry wars just that fucking cube you, you've seen geometry. you mean geometry dash oh sorry fuck geometry yeah dash. geometry dash sorry geometry wars idiot. triangles you know geometry versus dash, right? squares you know geometry dash right no yeah you do yeah i you, probably do yeah, i do. this game just 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 type in anything and yeah just okay. type geometry dash you'll know it okay God, oh a, yeah, I've seen this game. I was addicted I, to this I game. I used to play this game. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that you could do like that. anything if you really like thought out the box enough and made it fun. I mean, especially if you're making a movie for kids, you have a lot more leeway. Honestly, uh, Minesweeper. That's <laughs> oh, that would be an awesome movie. Are you kidding me? No, it would not. What, what? What? Okay, explain the plot of Minesweeper. Didn't they do Squid Game? But Minesweeper. <laughs> Tell no. me, tell me, tell me that would not work. Come on. Actually, I, come think, on. I think they're no. going to do that for Squid Game 2. <laughs> they're going to have like a mind well, just uh, IRL well, mind sweep. Well, they, this... made a, they made Battleship the movie. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, which that's... was also terrible. <laughs> yeah, which was, also, which uh, was terrible to watch. Um, I yeah. don't know, I don't know which I don't know game... which, which games have the best stories in general and wow. could they be distilled into Good, get, movies? It'd be more so TV though. Like look at yeah. The Last of Us. Great, yeah. great TV adaptation. True. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, oh, we are g going through technical difficulties. Okay, I have a contender. Okay, that might be good. Heavy yeah. rain. No, I think it'd be a TV show. TV show? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. It's even a good story. Yeah, I've, not, I've, I've not played heavy. Yeah, heavy rain's a good story, right? But that's basically a story game. So I feel like yeah. when it's like story, when it's the game is like because it's not really much gameplay in that. It's just a story. Yeah, so that's why it makes sense to make it a. Movie or a TV series. Yeah, but I feel like at that point, what's like, it's barely any point in remaking it. Okay, I, I, I do you think, okay, sometimes. Make it more cinematic. Yeah, so. I, mean. I mean, it's an old game. Old I mean, game. sometimes I have, the, I'm like conflicted, right? Because sometimes I think there's a certain game that I think that has a good story, mm. but is it a good story for a video game or is it a good story period that could be translated into like mm. other things, you know? Cause a lot of, like, like I said, for, for example, with Mass Effect, right? I think, you know, at its core, Mass Effect has a lot of interesting ideas, but also it's just really cool to be the fucking main character saving the universe, which mm. is one in a million storylines in a lot of movies, right? right. Um, and it's in the nuance that really makes that story stand out for me with the characters. Mm. And I think about this with a lot of maybe video game stories, maybe JRPG stories, for example, like, do you ever think a Final Fantasy could be a good, live action no. or or TV series. Well, I mean, no. they did Crisis Core, right? And wasn't that a, no, oh, that wasn't a disaster. Which one was the disaster? The 3D the, the one. The 3D one. Yeah, that right? one, yeah, that one was horrible. There's one yeah. that really like bankrupt, uh, bankrupted uh, 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 Squaresoft. Kingsclave? Might have been right after seven. It was right after seven. Oh no, yeah, that's Crisis the Core, yeah. The original seven. Yeah, yeah cause sure? is it Crisis Core? Right? No, I think I'm talking about a different one. Shit, which, oh, Advent Children. No, no, no way before, way before. No, 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 there, there, there was there was one. What is Crisis Core again? That's a new one. So, so after the success of Seven, he wanted the he the the guy who doesn't work for Squares anymore wanted Nomura. to make a movie. Nomura yeah. really wanted to make a movie based on like I think not Final Fantasy Seven, just one of the Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sakaguchi wanted to make a Hollywood 3D film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I've seen that one. What? That one I've never heard sucks. of this. That one yeah. sucks. And it, and it, can and can it, you search up Final Fantasy movies? I've never movies? heard of this. And it nearly bankrupted. Like even after the, the but, huge but success, but it's it's, it's big selling back. point was at the time <laughs> it had like merged. some of the best three D graphics that could come out, um, and it bleed really sucked from what I remember. Spirits, Spirits within, within, that's it. Yeah. yeah. How much did it cost? It was what I've never seen this. This was a bomb. It bombed. Yeah. And it, it it's basically, if I'm not mistaken, it's basically what caused SquareSoft to. Uh, merge with- uh, With Annex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure really? they, they had lost so much money making this film. 
Oh my god, I have to uh, watch this. Wait, look how much it cost. It, uh, it was the first photorealistic computer animated feature film and yeah. the most expensive video game inspired film. The two until the release of Prince of Persia 2010. $205 million in 2001. Alec Baldwin's in this movie? Yeah. And Steve Buscemi? <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Yeah. How have I never, and Ving Rhames? How have I never heard of this film? it sucked. It sucked. I have to watch it. So they this. lost, they lost 115, no, $120 million on this film. <laughs> um, you know, oh my God. Which, which pretty much just like fucked Square. Damn. Yeah, and uh, also, um, aside from this one, every other Final Fantasy film or TV series I've seen uh, has always been like something adjacent to that story. It never, I never right. felt like a standalone product. Like Advent Children, that kind of just felt like, here's this add-on story that's kind of fan service. Yeah. Um, this, this is why Sakaguchi left, I'm pretty sure. He left Square. I mean, that, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he was like, you know, this is like a, I mean, if you- if I was you, directed by Sakaguchi yeah, as well, damn. Yeah, yeah, and his story. Shit. Yeah. 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 He's doing good now. Well, he's he, doing good. Well, he, he left, right? And then made his own game company. And yeah. then made- uh, Yeah, the, uh, the Apple Store game thing. Made, yeah, JRPG games. And I think the he made two games that came out. One of them was Blue Dragon, right? Oh, shit. Oh, which is the oh, terrible, terrible. Which is the terrible <laughs> JRPG. And he made some other really fan favorite <laughs> game. Because his studio was making exclusive games Xbox 360. Right, JRPG right. games. It was some other game that was really popular, but underrated. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, maybe click on his name. Go, go to Sakaguchi's yeah. Wikipedia. Uh, they made two games that were really popular. Uh, two two games that came out. One of them was Blue Dragon. And another one was really popular. Yeah. Uh, and they made a game studio. Terrible. Oh, Lost Odyssey. Lost Odyssey. Lost oh, Odyssey. Which is like, okay. a, everyone says like one of the most underrated JRPGs of all time. Okay. He also apparently Sorry. worked on Kingdom Hearts as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice. Mistwalker, Mistwalker games. Yeah, he made Mistwalker games. And now oh. I think they may, mostly make uh, mobile games now. Oh. Right. If I'm not mistaken. I think some some RPGs there. I'm not sure though. Damn. That's because mobile games make money. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Did they make the Nier game? Am I? No. 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 Nier? No. Sorry. The Nier mobile game. I meant. No. 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 That's your Wutaro. Yeah. No. 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 Is it like did Mistwalker? Can you can you go to the studio? The go up to Mistwalker. Mistwalker. Games? I swear they made some IP game for mobile. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah, he made uh, the recent one is Fantasia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see. I didn't see any. Fantasia. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, okay. Sorry. That looks oh, like. That must be. <laughs> that looks, <laughs> that, okay, okay. To be fair, okay. I, I can see. That's I can, my bad. I thought it was a near that, game. That, that is, just that looks is gen, like. That is gender bent to be. Dude, right what the fuck? That looks exactly <laughs> like it. I like, can't believe I thought they made a near game. It's like, shut up, son. We have 2B at home. <laughs> That's literally 2B at home, bro. What the hell? Dude, Nobu and Matsu did the music for it as well. God damn. Okay, okay. I don't know why I know all this. <laughs> yeah, this but, is just yeah. uh, some random How do you know more knowledge? about square law than <laughs> I do? <laughs> I, mean, I, I find game law very interesting and how it all <laughs> This isn't out. even game law. This is just game, game company dev law. law, game dev law. Well, I mean, I, yeah. think, I think if you can understand the law, you can understand how we get games that we get, right? So yeah, that's, that's why true, I like, that's I like. true. And also I think it's just interesting that he he they let him spend $205 million <laughs> on a movie. Well, I, I, th I, I think I, I can't believe they let him do that. I think at the time it was just more of like a, you know, this was a technical, it was a technical marvel at the yeah. time because I remember watching it and I watched it solely because it just looks incredible in, from a CG perspective. It? Yeah, I watched it. I watched it. I need to watch it. Well, I mean, they, they just come off the back of the most expensive game of all time, which yeah. is Final Fantasy VII, yeah. which yeah. ended up absolutely crushing it. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure when he went, guys, let's do it again, but with a movie, they were like, <laughs> Why not? What this could man go can wrong? do no wrong. Yeah, Why what could go not? wrong? And then obviously it didn't go so well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably because when you realize, like when you when you look at a Final Fantasy story, you can you could say it's a good story, but you can't say it's a clean story. Yeah, they never are. That's just they are very messy. That's stories. just ninety percent of JRPGs, JRPGs yeah. in yeah. general. And I think when you try to boil that down to a movie, is, you inherently need a clean story. Like is, you can't is there have a, is, this fluff. Is there a single good JRPG adaptation of like anime or films or? Uh, anything? the the latest Dragon Quest movie was pretty good. Was okay. a Dragon Quest movie? No. I did not know there what? was a Dragon Quest There's movie. The, the animated, the new animated Dragon Quest movie. That one was. Surprisingly good. To be fair, I think an animated Dragon Quest movie could do good. Because I mean, Dragon Quest basically like, there's no <coughs> crazy world yeah, ending your story, story yeah. most of the time, yeah. Your story. I feel, I feel like the that less- was, That was surprisingly good. I feel like the less convoluted the lore and the story, the more uh, likely you are to get a good adaptation. Yeah, like <clears> I think, like for example, like Final Fantasy VII, I think it's a great story, 
but also if if you start looking too closely, you see the cracks. Yeah, and then mm. they're, they're patching with Crisis Core and Advent Children. You're like, wait, <laughs> we, yeah, we can we can put some chalk in these cracks, we, you know. And it's like, okay, the story is, it's not it's not bad, but you yeah. you you have to admit it's like this is a fucking mess. Best Final Fantasy ever made, right, guys? Yeah. It is, well, yeah. well, <laughs> it's a mess. Like, it is a mess. That's what all the Final Fantasy fans say. <laughs> and, I, and I think that there's like, it's just tough to adapt that. I think like uh, yeah. what even a, even some even thing. with something like the Persona 5 anime as well, which unlike Persona 4 got a full like TV series. It was just like- It was aight. It was aight. <laughs> it was it. It was aight. It, it was aight. I was excited and then I watched it and I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, I'd rather play the I game. I think I'd rather you know? just replay the game. Exactly, right, yeah. exactly. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think if there is a single good JRPG adaptation that I did enjoy thoroughly. Have we ever had even in the history of video game adaptations had an adaptation of a, it doesn't even have to be live action. That was just as good, if not better. Have we even had that yet, Last as an example? Probably Last of Us, I would say. Last of Us is one of the Arcane. best. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I walked right into that one. Hell yeah. Fuck. <laughs> When's it coming out in June? I'm so pumped. I'm yeah. so pumped, no, it's, bro. it's end of this year, end of this year. Fuck. Yeah. Wait, uh, what's, what's the release date of Arcane? Season it's two? December, right? Oh, you know, Q4. No, can't, don't tell me. You know I'm dying to know. It's Q4, it's Q4. Oh, I, I swear, don't tell me that. swear to God. I swear it was like June. <laughs> Come no, on, baby, no, roll the dice. No. Fuck. November. Yeah, 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 Q4, yeah. November, eh, close enough. So pumped for that. Close enough. So pumped. That's that's the best video so game adaptation. For that. You're yeah. right. You're so right. Sure. This episode of Trash Taste is sponsored by ExpressVPN. You know when you see that little guy when you open up incognito mode with a hat and sunglasses to do some late night <clears throat> research? Good thing to know he keeps it all a secret. Or does he? Did you know that even with Mr. Incognito on duty, every single site you've clicked on is visible to anyone who has access to your Wi-Fi? I'm talking your mom, your school, your workplace. Oh God, I feel so sorry for Mr. Incognito right now. That's why you need ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is an app that says 100% of your traffic through encrypted servers, so your eclectic taste in <clears throat> cinema cannot be seen by anyone. It's a super incognito mode that actually works. And speaking of cinema, ExpressVPN unlocks a ton of anime because you you get to choose where you are in the world. Apothecary Diaries, for example, is not available on the US Netflix, but if you go to here in Japan, it is, and you can with ExpressVPN. Or if you're in Japan like me, I can use ExpressVPN to watch Crunchyroll with English subtitles, cause my Nihongo is Jozu Janai. With just one click, I can switch my location to get an American IP and get the full experience. Plus, ExpressVPN works on all my devices. I can use it on my TV, phone, laptop, whatever. I love ExpressVPN so much, I even got them to give you an incredible deal. If you use our special link expressvpn.com slash trash chase you'll get an extra three months for free that's e-x-p-r-e-s-s dot com slash trash taste to help support the podcast and get an extra three months of expressvpn for free thank you very much to expressvpn for sponsoring this episode back to the video how was the uh twitch awards this year by the way twitch oh, awards the, sorry the streamer Sheesh. awards yeah it was good yeah um i was i was gone for a total if you count flight time i was gone for a hundred hours Actually, I calculated it was like a hundred hours. Right. I did like a speed run of LA. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, I um got nominated for two awards. Didn't win. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Lost to Ludwig. Yeah. One of them bastards. And then obviously, <laughs> uh, uh, do, do you know? Do you guys know who Queso and Jinxie are? Do you guys know? Who I have know? heard of Jinxie. Okay. I've heard know. of Jinxie. I have not. What do you, what do you know about? That he streamed to like one viewer for a full year until he suddenly blew up or something. <laughs> so when I when I landed in LA, uh, we went to Ludwig's house room and uh, we were just like browsing Twitch because it was the evening. Yeah, and uh, he he had two hundred thousand people watching him play Fall Guys like poorly cropped, like it wasn't even the stream wasn't even set up good. <laughs> and there's two hundred thousand people watching mm -hmm. him play Fall Guys. So why why did this guy blow up? Um, that's a great question. I'm. He, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, right. Because like, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to like. This is not to me because I know you know. No, it's no, it's not like a jab or anything. Yeah, it's yeah, like I it's, just, it's I like don't know. I, it's I genuinely think, the more I read up about this guy, the more I don't understand. I, I think it's a mixture of like TikTok as well as like the perfect storm of collaborations going around. So like, yeah. I think like he started getting noticed uh, from other people, and then he's getting all these amazing collabs, and right. he's doing some really cool stuff, uh, and he's. His energy is uh, very similar to that of, uh, he's very energetic, I'll say that. Like very, very like animated. That's, I feel yeah. that's like the number one ingredient to be big on Twitch nowadays. You feel, you feel, you son feel old yet? Yeah, dude, I mean, like, I, I, I mean, he's, he's like 22. And, yeah. Uh, 
I, I watch <laughs> how, like, I, I feel old when I do certain things and I see how he, Shut the up. energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but like the fuck you realize that when you get to like a certain age, yeah. it's, just, it's, just, it's just cringe to give a certain amount of energy to stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Sure. Well, maybe that's just British, but yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I think in general. No, I, like, think, I think that's like an age. No, no, no I, I get sure. you, I get you. I, get, I, I obviously have my moments where I, I'm pretty animated or I get excited about stuff. But yeah. I think if I'm like, if every single little thing, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, geez, what the fuck? This, you know, like it's kind of a yeah. lot, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think it's hard. <laughs> it makes me feel old when I watch this style and I'm like, I can't do this. Like yeah. I just, I just can't. Well, it's kind of like the, kind of like the iShow speed kind of generation, I would say, Absolutely, which is like yeah. a yeah, new yeah. generation of viewers for, you know, content and live streaming yeah. that is not like- But they're funny. Like I watch them and they're mm -hmm. funny, but I just, I can't do that. Like, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> well, you, you do what you're capable of doing yeah. for your age and yeah. your content brand, yeah. you know, like I, I, you know, I, I was, uh, I was watching it with uh, Squeaks, who's like, uh, I don't know how old Squeaks is actually, but Squeaks is definitely older than me. <laughs> and we, we are laughing. Like it was funny, like watching yeah. this, this, these two grown men play Fall Guys, getting really angry and getting stream sniped a bunch was just funny. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Like it was, it was, it was good content, but uh, <clears throat> something that I can't do, like you mentioned, like getting you, when you get older, you're like, I just can't bring. <laughs> this energy towards everything. Well, I, I, day in, day out. I yeah, I had, I had this moment uh, where I, I thought, you know, okay, so we're on the internet. There's always like new words and new slang, yeah, that, yeah. you know, it keeps cropping up. Yeah. But there is, there is a point you've reached where you hear a new word and you're like, can I still get away with saying this word without <laughs> being cringe? Like what? Huh? What's, what's okay, the newest okay. example you've learned? Okay, so, so, so there, there are there are some words that I think I like on the borderline where I'm like, I'm like I still can get away with it, but it's not like the coolest if I say it, which is you know a word like riz for example, say which riz. yeah yeah. What's wrong with the word riz? There's, riz. No, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, you know, if your dad said riz, how would you react? I wouldn't be happy. I that. would like exactly yeah, exactly exactly. So yeah. right now I think like we're on the cusp of being like we can still get away with riz. Mm. Can you get away with saying zaddy? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First of all, I've never even heard of that one. Exactly, Joey. So exactly. Wait, could you repeat that? Could what you is, repeat that? What is, what is Zaddy? Zaddy? Zaddy, okay. What the fuck is Zaddy? Okay, so, so the reason I know is about- Is this stemmed off like Zam? I have no idea. Okay, so the reason I know about this, right? Which, cause there, there is like, there is like, you know, there is like Riz and, you know, Gyat and like, oh, you know, there's, so long, yeah, yeah there, there's like that level. And then there's like a, a even like deeper level yeah. where like even like the iPad kids, that's what they're using right, right now. And, you know, this is like what Gen Z can kind of get away with now. Uh, but Zaddy is basically, I think an attractive older gentleman. Basically, is so, that not just called a dilf? Yeah, or daddy. Yeah, or, da it's, or it's, just it's, I don't know, daddy. It's yeah. daddy now. <laughs> so what's the what's the Z? I have no idea. The, okay, the reason the reason I know this right is because I was I was talking to a friend, and he's he's around. He's like kind of like my age, right? Mm. And he was like, you know, you're getting to that age where you have to be really conscious about, you know, he, he's still he's still single and he still like goes on Tinder dates and everything. Mm. And he was like, yeah, I'm getting to that age where you know I really start to being conscious about age gaps. Like sure. what, what age gap am I comfortable with? Mm. Cause he went on a date. So he's like my age and he went on a date with someone in like their early twenties. Mm -hmm. So it was around about like an eight year-ish age, mm. uh, sure. age gap, uh, which, you know, it's, it's kind of like, if, if I was still single, I, I think like eight years, that's a lot, but maybe, mm, maybe yeah. that would be like, I, you know, maybe that would be something that I'd be comfortable sure. with. And apparently he went on this date and he was like, we got along so well, good chemistry. Yeah. And you know, we, we were gonna set up a second date. And then I, uh, and then she called me Zaddy. <laughs> And then that I, mean, I just I think regardless of age gap, yeah. that's just weird. <laughs> that's just weird. In, instant red flag. Yeah. She she oh, called man. me Zaddy and he just and he just told me I just couldn't. I I I I, I that, deal that was, breaker. That, 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 that was it. That was the deal breaker. So um, just so, wait, hold on. Can we look I'm afraid to look it up, but can we look up what Zaddy means? <laughs> yeah, can we make sure we're getting the right intel here? What zaddy. is a Zaddy? <laughs> what is this? Zaddy, a sexually attractive man, especially an older one who is fashionable or charismatic. That's just the daddy. Where does Zaddy come from? 
<laughs> What's the difference between a daddy and a zaddy? While a daddy is an attractive older man, a zaddy is a man with swag who is attractive and also fashionable. Oh, it's from a song, I guess? Or some is, it, kind of song? is it a song? It appears it? that it has less to do with age. Zayn Malik, previously of One Direction, is a popular zaddy. Ryan Reynolds is also likely a zaddy. <laughs> yes. Likely? What is it, like there's some kind of committee here? <laughs> there's like the zaddy committee. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, there's a, that, You're a certified just zaddy. words yeah. that you shouldn't be saying. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yikes. Yeah, that's weird. I hate. That's- I hate it. Yeah, but I say this now. In like six months from now, I'm probably gonna start no, like yeah. I'm gonna. I've. I. You start using it ironically. Wait, are you gonna? Are you gonna cut any vocab when you get thirty? Uh, like, are you, are you hard, hard outing on any words? You're like, can't say this anymore. Can't dab anymore. It's gotta go. Oh, I mean, I gave up on dabbing good, a long good, time ago. Good. I I, da- I out dabbed myself in 2016. <laughs> um, okay, I don't the, know. I, I feel like I, I feel like the secret is right. Maybe maybe all the shit was always cringe, but we could get away with it because we were young and I think you were. Yeah, I think that's exactly I, I, what yeah. it's also. Is. It's how you believe in it. Do you believe yeah. in the product? Like when you say it, do you believe in the delivery? What do you mean? Like when you say zaddy. If you yeah. said it in the right, if you said it with like, with purpose, I might not think anything of it. With purpose? <laughs> with purpose. I'm, I, might, I, might, I might think like, yeah, it's In what weird. context would you use the word zaddy with purpose? <laughs> what if he goes down? Like you look at you look at a picture so, of Ryan Reynolds, yeah, like- that's Soka's a zaddy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> low key zaddy energy right there. With that chin, what a zaddy. Yeah. If kind of just said it like low key and not made a big deal about it, I might not pay much mind to it. Yeah. You know? He's a daddy, but he mews, so he's a zaddy. <laughs> well, you know, I, I yeah. Know. Um, yeah, I guess the point being, <laughs> the point being of all of this, uh, yeah, and then obviously one of the other awards, best variety streamer, which we've been nominated two years in a row now. Yeah, lost it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one year, maybe the three peat. Yeah, uh, lost it to uh, an, uh, well, to be fair, very well deserved. A new an, another big streamer came around the same time as Jinx called Queso, mm-hmm. who's a uh, very similar style, very very uh, very energetic. Uh, well, now you know what to do for next year, right? Eh? Get big on TikTok. Just yeah, right just say, <laughs> say zaddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say, zaddy. say zaddy um, and take some Adderall. But I, I got I, you know I, I was gonna go regardless because I just thought it's really fun to hang out with everyone because like the only like event really where every like streamer goes to. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's no other event that I can think of where all streamers come out for it. Yeah, like globally. Yeah. Um. So there's a bunch of like Spanish creators that came, a bunch of Brazilian creators that came. So that was really cool getting to talk to them. Oh. Um, I don't know no drama we, this year, yeah. No, 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 no one, no the, one tried to chuck a fucking no whatever so, in no. the pool or whatever yeah, happened last, last, last year. year. A human, <laughs> yeah. Last year there was some pool incidents going on. Um, this year, not much. I, I hosted. Um, I was one third of the red carpet hosts. Yeah, yeah. So I got to interview people, and that was really fun uh, and a great time. Uh, and that, that was great. Like I, I love hosting. I love doing hosting stuff because mm-hmm. I feel like I'm good at yapping. I'm good at talking. Well, yeah. you are a streamer. I, I, I feel like every yeah. streamer is good at yapping. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, okay. Put some respect on my name, God. Okay. I do it different. No, <laughs> we're, no, no we, we mean that with the most sincere of like, I, I, I think I think the we, three of us being on a podcast, we, we can- we're, like good at, we're good yappers. We won't shut the fuck up. Yeah. You can't fan, pay us to stop we're talking. We're 200 deep. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, and so getting through the, the because I think like talking to your stream is a different beast to having to talk to other people you might not know mm. on camera. I've noticed that about streamers as well. Where... Like they're bad. A lot of streamers <laughs> are bad at talking to like people. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think that it, it, you know, and I think we, we have a lot of experience luckily from doing this and mm-hmm. from other stuff that we've done, doing our live shows. I yeah. think we, we undersell ourselves how I think our like ability to talk and hold a conversation. And most yeah. importantly, I think what a lot of people uh, don't appreciate that I think that we we try to do is that we, you know, when we do talk, we try to make it a well paced conversation. We we obviously interrupt each other. Me, I'm no I'm no stranger to that. Yeah, you most. But I think we, we're pretty good at the flow of a conversation. I feel mm-hmm. like we understand that in, uh, inherently and I think that's yeah. why we've been around for two hundred episodes. Not to mm-hmm. pat our pat myself on the back, but I think we're good at it. Like I, I, I can I can open a trash taste and find myself being like, why am I listening why the fuck am I listening to trash taste? 
I'll open you, it for like 10 minutes. I know this is a banger. <laughs> no, but like, like I'll forget that I'm listening to it because I sometimes I'm like, man, yeah, we're, we're just, we're good at throwing it back. Sometimes I sometimes I encounter our YouTube shorts yeah, and I, I'm I, just I, like, I'm just, I, I, I like one of us makes a point. I'm like, God damn, that's a, that's a good <laughs> point actually. I don't remember saying this, but yeah. uh, that, that, was a, that was a good point. Because sometimes I want to remember what we just talked about. Cause I yeah. often just, the moment where we finish recording, I'm like, it's gone. It's yeah. in my memory. Anyway, so the point, point being is that I think that like, us having all this experience, I think it really lends well to like when I when we have to talk to someone, especially the interviews in the red carpet. It's like I need to have this one man podcast with this mm. person and like get hit all the notes and go through it in five minutes and yeah. kind of have a good flow to it. You uh, just got the zaddy riz, bro. That's I what don't have is. the zaddy riz. I, zaddy I'd like riz. to think that maybe in ten years I can age gracefully. We'll see if I get there. I should probably cut down on the beer if I'm going to make it there. Um, but the more I'm starting You're moisturizing. You're on the diet. Yeah, I'm starting moisturizing every day now. I moisturize. You moisturize? So hopefully, it's honestly helped with my bags. I think I have like less bags. Really? I, I, I certainly don't get more moisturize. Sweat. My eyes. That's yeah. pretty much it. Well, I just yeah. put the sunscreen on every day. It's moisturizing sunscreen. Put it on every day. Right. It's great. It was awesome. That's why you're so white. <laughs> That's why, man. <laughs> honestly, it's good. Just start doing it, guys. Just, just moisturize. Take care of your skin. Have um, you ever tried to tan? No, I don't dare. See, I, don't I, I would love to see. I would, I would love, love to see just once what the result is. I would I can't, love to I can't see imagine you like a not, crispy no, corner. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no, that would bring the zaddy energy. Just yeah. like <laughs> no, I don't want to be a just, zaddy. I, well, I, I just want to be a. I just want to age gracefully. I'd like to. Is that so. not a zaddy? <laughs> well, not necessarily. It's an older I, gentleman I, with riz. Oh no, sorry, with I, swag. I don't want to have swag. I just want to look okay. Oh, so you I, just want to be a daddy. Uh, no, well, <laughs> no, I just want to be chill. If we're going by definition, yes, I guess if you don't sense. want the swag, but you want to be an attractive older male, yeah. then you'd yeah. be a daddy. I suppose so. Anyway, oh, man, so give it the times. Yeah. Did the red carpets, that was fun. I filmed a video with Ludwig, which I can't wait to show you guys about later yeah. on. I can't talk about it now though. Mm. Um, and then ate a lot of fast food and then left. It was, I went to a smash tournament as well. Oh. My very first smash tournament. How did it smell? <laughs> What's, did, it, did it meet the hype? The so, hype? So I'm, went, I'm curious, I've never been to a Smash tournament. Yeah. So obviously that was like the one thing that I thought, I was like, I wanted to see if it's as bad as everyone says it was. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and obviously when you have, I don't know how many people were at that venue, but it was like a 2,000, 3,000 person venue. Oh shit. Yeah. Um, and you know, every seat was full. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there was a, there was a musk, but it, it wasn't as bad as What's like- What's worse, AX or AX that? is way worse. Oh really? AX oh, is so shit. Much worse. And that venue hall is way bigger than AX. Oh damn. But, uh, you know, so the Smash Bros get a too bad of a rep. I'm sure some of those like the tournament areas. Yeah. Because I I went to the top eight, so we went to the top eight showing. Right. Because Ludwig had uh, Ludwig had uh, two of his esports members mm. competing, mm -hmm. so we went and uh, that was fun. And the first yeah, the first thing I kept note of, I was like, does it smell? It doesn't smell that bad. It's not, yeah. It's not bad at all. And uh, the first thing that I was surprised by uh, was that we walk in and obviously Ludwig's doing his thing. He's just so chill all the time. And some guy comes out he's like, yep, come on, come on Ludwig, let's go, let's go to your seats. Literally front row, middle seats. And I'm like, why, <laughs> why, why? These are wasted on me, why? I, should, I don't deserve- I Yeah, we've seen your performance on Smash Bros. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel bad because I'm like, man, there's so many fans here and I feel bad that we rocked up and just get the front row. Yeah. Um, and then Ludwig leaves me. Uh, and I'm just waiting there alone. And then they snap this pic. Did you see this pic? Yeah, I saw the pic. There's a pic of me on my phone. Cause I, I'm also trying to figure out who all these players are. Right. Cause I only know about Leffen yeah. and Amsa, who's this Japanese guy. Yeah. Um, and they're the only two players I know. And I'm trying to learn more about the other players. Cause it's, the first game was none of those players, I believe. And I, so I, was, I was trying to look them up and there's this photo. If you go to Genesis Twitter, go to the <laughs> type in Genesis, uh, Genesis smash Twitter. There's this photo of me on my phone while everyone else is super like arms in the air excited. Uh, if you just go like media, uh, like click that media and then you might want to, oh, okay, never mind. I can scroll down. Just scroll down so you see a photo of like the crowd. All right, look at this. So this is pick, right? Yeah. Look at the, how insanely packed that is. And look at me in the front on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, Did they tell you you were taking a No, they didn't fucking tell me. And, uh, so like, I, and, and the problem is as well, is that, so during this event, I, I was, I had about three hours of sleep, incredibly hungover. I had to fly to San Francisco, then drive to San Jose after uh -huh. doing this video shoot with Ludwig. And then I, I'm actually struggling to just stay awake. Right. And so there's another pick later on where everyone's also pumped and I'm, I'm like this. 
I think I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah I saw that one. But uh, one thing I will say is that, my God, the atmosphere is insane. Um, oh, I bet. Yeah. It is I can see it. It is the closest thing in America I've ever been to or seen sporting wise to English football or like, British That's football. why I love mm. the fighting game community. They just seem to have such a fun atmosphere. Well, though. it was like halfway through, there'd be like a, the, the, you know, cause um, I, I was I was also getting crash courses in Smash whilst I'm right. doing this. Like people, cause people in the behind me are going, oh man, that's so cringe. You should have up tilted right there. Like that. <laughs> people were like commentating, stuff like that. And, I, and I'm trying to like, I know, I know some of these words cause I've, yeah. I've watched a lot of videos about Smash cause yeah. I find the stories very interesting, but I don't know enough to know like, when it was cringe that they failed a block or something. Because sometimes- Perfect pivot up tilt to attack. Because sometimes they would like be moving really fast and everyone would go, oh. And I'd be like, what, what happened? So like, I didn't get it. And so I, I would have a uh, Etoiz, a French guy, a streamer, a uh, smash expert, telling me about stuff. And then I also had the guy, the guy in red there who was also telling me stuff about it, yeah. giving me lore. Everyone was very helpful. Um, so like there was, cause obviously, you know, Nintendo is very like lawsuit happy. Yeah. Um, they they stopped Smash tournaments from being allowed to pause the Pokemon Stadium stage. Did you know this? So no. po the Pokemon Stadium stage transforms into mm, different yeah. like uh, um, terrains. Yeah, 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 I remember. And they used to have a mod to pause it. And that was usually what it used to be for years in Smash, but then now they had to remove that and they had to let the stage change. Right. Um, per Nintendo's request. So there was an occasional moment where people would just start chanting, fuck Nintendo, <laughs> <laughs> fuck Nintendo. It was like really good. And then uh, whenever the Kirby's Dreamland came on, everyone yeah. would start clapping the theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there would be people who were trying to clap them off rhythm Yeah, to stop them from clapping. So it was really fun seeing these two factions inter interact. Wait, you're talking the about lore. like the, the gourmet race theme. They're like, dun, 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 dun. They all start clapping, but then people would go like, And it was really funny because they were explaining to me, they were like, yeah, there's a whole thing in the community for years now. People are trying to stop. People are trying to, people think it's cl it's cringe to clap. So there's a faction of clappers that clap off beat to throw the clappers, uh, like to, to make sure they can't clap. And Damn. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then also the other thing that surprised me was the sheer amount of gambling. Everyone was gambling, everyone. There was dudes going around going, I got 20 on Leffen. Who wants 20 on Leffen? 20 on Leffen. Like soliciting bets. They were like, they were like looking for someone to take the bet with them. And yeah. so people would go, I'll do it. I'll do 20 on Leffen. And then when the match would come over, he'd come back over this guy and be like, give me the 20. And, and and like, I would see dudes betting with like 10 dudes. They would go like, yeah, what do you want? Okay, I got this. What do you got? What do you got this? Um, and it was all anyone was talking about. And when I went to the toilet, I was waiting in line and everyone was going, yeah, I lost hundred bucks. Yeah, I lost I lost 50 on this guy. But for a lot of people, that's like their side hustle. Yeah. I think people are- Just some people going hustling. around a Smash tournaments and just like <laughs> initiating bets. Well, there's no like, it's not like it's a bookie or anything. Yeah. Like, there's no there's no bookie. It's literally just a dude going, I feel like this guy's gonna win, even though he's not the favorite. And well, they I, would just bet. I feel like it's also part of the culture as well. Oh, with just like, 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 like money, money matches. matches yeah. And yeah. I, I feel like it just is a natural evolution um, of let's say the, Friendly toxicity of the uh, yeah. well, of the uh, fighting game community. I think betting in the US is legal as long as there's not a third party making money. Like if yeah. it's between you and me in America, we could make any bet. Yeah, right. wager. Yeah, um, I think that's. I don't know. I think that's the legality of it. But either way, I've never seen quite so much uh, gambling. It was very impressive. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is in this is incredible. Um, that sounds yeah. hype. And it was just a great great event. Like uh, I, I was what a cool one. And they told me that this is the biggest Smash event. I was told that this was the- Yeah, it looks pretty big. The event. Oh, uh, sure. I mean, it was it was crazy, yeah. A lot would of Trash you, Taste you, fans. A lot of Trash Taste fans. Uh, I got a lot of people being like, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh my God, I watched Trash Taste, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. I, saw <laughs> that, I saw that Patreon video, you were shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. Yeah. So shout I mean, out we to all- We all suck. Shout yeah. out to all the Smash fans that are also Trash Taste fans. I appreciate you guys. You guys got a good thing going. Yeah, the yeah. fighting community seems like a riot. Would you ever go to the Evo? Don't know. I, I feel like I I need a guide. Like I need someone to. Yeah. I need, I need a, like a, a person. I want to go just for the yeah. atmosphere. But dude, it's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. It would be kind of hype. Mm. Um, Evo's in Vegas. Yeah. Mm. But they don't have Smash, and I feel like the Smash community is. Uh, Did I not have Smash? No, I don't think no, they have Smash. I don't anymore. think anymore. Not not melee at least. Okay. Melee seems to be the. Also, like Guilty Gear and shit now, right? Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I thought it had like the newer smashes, but- uh... It's cool just hearing all the lore. Like they were giving me breakdowns of the lore. Like obviously Laffin is like crazy. I mean, yeah. he, like what was it? Last Evo, he won two different fighting games. Damn. Uh, he chirps on Twitter though. <laughs> he, he says he talks mad shit on Twitter all the time, but I guess after he won two different fighting game Evos the yeah. same year, Everyone's like, oh, he's kind of the goat though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of goat behavior. Yeah. That's but kind yeah, of insane. Right. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he won, I think it was like Guilty Gear. Yeah. Uh, what are they? What Street Fighter Six, Tekken, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Mortal Kombat 1, Guilty Gear Strive, King of Fighters, no. Street Fighter 3. What, what, what did, what, which ones did Laffin win? He won two, two different, complete <laughs> different fighting games. Which I think is insane. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive and Smash, uh, no. Oh, so he won Melee and- Melee wait, oh, and no, Guilty right. Gear Strive. Wait, no, this is, uh, oh yeah, I guess so. I, I think, yeah. I think, yeah, I don't know. Either way, I think it's just insane behavior to be that good at two different games. Mm. Um, so I think that's why yeah, everyone's like, Yeah, well, because the amount of practice you need to get to, to like be in the pro stages of a single game is takes up most pro players life yeah just oh, yeah. dedicating themselves to one game and even then they can't make it to the top sometimes yeah but even then if you're like the top eight that still doesn't mean you're making like great money yeah mm. um you know you're still how big is like the fighting game community in terms of uh the prize pools? economy yeah prize oh, pools great it's not so melee is not great i think the other ones are a little better but i know i mean Ma nintendo has basically made it impossible <laughs> how much money do you make if you win evo um, let's, get, well, let's have a look. Let's type so in Evo Prize Pool. Evo Prize Pool. Evo Prize yeah. Pool. I don't think- I've always an, been curious. I don't think it's a cr an incredible amount. Cause I think you, you know, how many games do you have to provide prize pools for? That's 25K. 25K. <sighs> wow. Excluding Street Fighter Six, which featured a prize pool of 70K. I mean, wow. that's like for being the best in the world or yeah. something. Yeah. It's not a lot. <clears throat> like that's, that's. And that's why that's, a lot of them have like sponsorships and they have to stream. Like a yeah. lot of them have to stream. They don't do it for the money, corner. They do it for the love. I, I think yeah, they absolutely do. <laughs> I, I think that's but, right, actually, but, but Joe. But the love of the game doesn't put food on the table, yeah. Joe. You know what I mean? Like, I love TFT, but I'm not putting money on the table for it. You know what I mean? Sorry, they can do Twitch streams in the meantime. Yeah. yeah. But that's a sad thing, right? You have to be like a content creator if you yeah. want to, if you also want to make money. True. Um, I, think, I think that's less than the league salary minimum. That, uh, yeah, the league, yeah, what's the league salary minimum? You, like the the agreed upon like uh, yeah. franchise structure, which I I think I hate franchise structures. I do as well. God, I, it's so I, 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 I am here supporting the Premier League Dude, with you know it's, it's the Premier League, the biggest, most wealthiest sports league in the world can mm -hmm. get by with a relegation and promotion model. Yeah. I feel like they have no excuse. In the Between American 2017 world. and 2019, the average salary in League of Legends North America League jumped from 107,000 <laughs> to 300,000. <laughs> by 2021, that number reached 410,000. Yeah, gee, for like just salary. Motherfuckers are making half a mil <laughs> yeah. salary. I think it's higher than like, ca like uh, cardiologists. Yeah. I think cardiologists, <laughs> which I, I, I'm not, okay, listen, I'm a, I, we are, YouTubers and t like Twitch streamers, we cannot talk about who should be making more money. But yeah. that is, that's like, that just, we're trying to emphasize the difference in money between esports. Like that's yeah. crazy. I, I think if you're a top player of League of Legends, you, you probably do deserve- Oh no, cardiologists, physicians oh, make yeah. more oh, money sure. okay. in the States. Like I, I think you should be on six figures if you are the best of something in the world. Yeah. Like if you're in oh, the yeah. top competitive league, the sponsors, like I think that is what you should be I getting. I just thought the fighting game community was more popular, I guess, I'm surprised. About I, those I mean, numbers. I think it, it is popular. I just think that, I, I, oh, I mean, oh, I, I don't know. I, don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm, Where's I know. all that money going? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where fighting games We don't know enough about the industry. In terms like of could... the industry, but maybe it's the fan base. Cause I like the fan base is so loud. I thought it was more popular. See, yeah, maybe is, it's a small yeah, yet is, really loud yeah, fan this base. This is something right. we should have Ludwig on for. Cause he, I think he actually just knows better than most, the actual finances of how all these things, because he throws yeah. fighting game. Events. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm. So I think actually he would know, he'd be able to answer this question very well. Mm. And something that I I don't think any of us can answer very well at all. I have no yeah. idea. Um, well, yeah, I do, however, think that if if more, like if League of Legends had promotion and relegation, that'd be so fucking hype. I think it used to. Uh, did it really? Yeah, at least the European League used to. That's so and then it hype. And then it changed into a franchised. It's because all the companies are like, well, we want we want to ensure our money is going somewhere. Yeah. It's like, well, no. Yeah. How about you ensure that it's fun? It just and oh. it'd be more hype. Well, it's because it's based on the North American leagues, which, which is terrible. Like, because the Overwatch did it, and it's 
fucking awful. And yeah. I think that's also the most boring aspect of American sports. Well, American football does it. Yeah, it's and the franchise model. Yeah, I, I, mm, I, I'm, I'm not a fan personally. I'm, I, you know, I, I grew up with the Premier League and just European football in general. I think that's way more exciting to have promotion and relegation. Yeah. Um, and also like the the teams don't fucking mean anything. Like if you you could be like the some American football teams are like the Oakland Raiders. And they're not, and they, or whatever, I can't, I don't know who they are. There's uh -huh. like teams that are, they have the name of a place and they're not even in that place. <laughs> which, which is like a sin to do in Europe, which I think, I think, uh, is that true? Yeah, yeah. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Cause I, uh, I think it was Wimbledon or, what, or some British team tried to do this and the fans got pissed. Are and you talking like, about American football or the Overwatch League? Uh, American, American football. Okay. Done this. Which, which, um, I Google, don't know if that's Which true. American football team? Move location. I feel like that's not true, but I this don't know. No, I no, don't. This is true. This is true. I feel one of like them, that's one of them, not. One of them moved to Vegas. Uh, yeah, this, which, which, yeah, one of them. The, the Oakland, Oakland Raiders. Raiders. Yeah, the Oakland okay. Raiders. Moved Oakland, to California moved to Las Vegas, <laughs> which is like, and it's still called the Oakland Raiders. Well, the Vegas Raiders. Actually, no, that sounds pretty alright. <laughs> the Vegas Raiders. The Vegas Raiders. Like that sounds alright. This is right. like a sin in in, yeah. in uh, football to do this, and then. Yeah. the uh, Normal football. This is like a, you can't do this. This is like the number one way to absolutely lose your fans. Because I think which football team, can you Google it? Which uh, which which uh, Premier League team moved or like moved location? I think it was Wimbledon or something. I can't remember what it was. No, I think I think in terms of, I can't think of a Premier League team that has relocated to a different city. Uh, Arsenal moved from Woolwich in South London to Highbury in North Yeah, London but that's London to London, you know. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, lo that's yeah, London yeah. to London. There was one team that did, but like, <clears throat> this is like a thing you just cannot do. Because yeah. I think like the co the cultural aspect of football is so deep yeah. uh, in the UK. Yeah. Well, I, I where feel the team I, is part of the local identity. But I feel that way for America as well. You go to Wisconsin mm, and- I don't think it's- oh. Bro, you go to Wisconsin and they have uh, three things they talk about. Cheese, beer, and the fucking Packers, man. Like they, yeah. they, it, it is it is a religion over there. Um, and it is definitely part of a lot of Wisconsinites identity. So mm, I, yeah. I I definitely feel that maybe more, maybe a lot in the Midwest. Um, I'm not sure how it is. I mean, that's football country. Yeah, that's yeah. Football country. yeah. But I think it like, just the, the, the fact that this does happen. Yeah. I think it's also happened before as well. Like I, I could be wrong though. Um, just goes to show the different well, because I, I it's it's weird because like even know you could do like that. football teams and like sports teams are a business, but you know even growing up in the UK and it never like felt like a business. I didn't I didn't understand that part of the side of things where oh they have to make money as well. <laughs> I I more thought of it as they're doing it for the love of the sport. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I thought. They're doing it for the love of the sport, baby. They just want to win to get some local pride in them. Um, and it's only recently have I realized, oh, okay, there is the business side of things that- They gotta uh, pay taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the best stories in, in football, yeah. uh, you know, uh, are, are from all the weird stuff that can happen. Um, I mean, obviously like, uh, what was it? Was it a uh, Leicester City won that one Leicester year? City won as well. Which they won out of nowhere when yeah. they promoted. Right? And so they promoted it's, it's, it's so weird for me as well because uh, Brighton, the football team is like a really, really good fucking team now. Uh, yeah. It's, they're like, I think fifth or sixth or something in the Premier League, which yeah. is insane to me because uh, every time I say I'm a football fan of like Arsenal, everyone's like, oh, why why aren't you a fan of Brighton? And Brighton was like my, a team. Brighton <laughs> was my local team. That was like a fucking league yeah. two team when I was mm -hmm. growing up. Um, so now I just look like a fake fan because I'm like, oh, I mean. Betrayed. I, well, my my <laughs> geographically closest team to me growing up was fucking Wrexham. And look what's going on now. What the fuck? <laughs> this is completely out of my depth yeah. of feel. Uh, it's the one where Ryan Reynolds bought the football team in Wales. And he, did you know this? No. You didn't know about this? I, bro, I know close to zero about soccer. Okay, football. Have you ever watched a Super Bowl? Uh, yeah, I watched it once and I was like, it was kind of boring. It's so boring, it's so boring. Just, I think NFL as a sport is kind of boring to watch. I, I think it's fun uh, if, it's it's the ad breaks. The ad breaks, ad just, breaks kill, kill just, just kill the mood for me a lot. It was funny because I watched this uh, Super Bowl because I had Sydney's family over oh. come visit and it was like the Taylor Swift Bowl. <laughs> I, yeah. I think I saw more shots of Taylor Swift in the Super Bowl than any of the actual players. <laughs> uh, well, that's why it was the most viewed one of all time. Is it actually? Yes. <laughs> of course it is, God. Our society's doing Taylor, Taylor Swift could mobilize an army tomorrow. <sighs> if Taylor Swift was like enlist, 
We were, the U.S. Marines. If, were, if Taylor was like, I need to buy this land and make Swift Land a, a yeah. certified country, the, the government would be like, by all means, Taylor. I mean, go for it. Y- Support the economy. The fact that Trump came out with a tweet being like preemptively because he 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 felt that Taylor Swift was going to like be like vote for Biden. He yeah. made this tweet that was so weird and cringe. It was like, thanks to me. Taylor was allowed to get her album and get it all the rights to the bill I signed. It was just out of nowhere. <laughs> he like he he was like, yeah, I signed this. It was weird. It was like, oh, are you that afraid of Taylor Swift saying something? That's <laughs> fucked. Like that just goes to show how fucking powerful the I, I in think, her influence uh, is. I think a couple of weeks ago, was it last week? I forgot what it was, but mm-hmm. she did her first couple of shows in Australia. Yeah. And she did one of her shows in Melbourne, which was the biggest show that she's done on her entire tour All in right. terms yeah. of like capacity. I think it was like, she did it at the MCG, I think, which is like 200,000 people. Fuck. Uh, and apparently that weekend, the <laughs> the Victorian economy went up by like 15% <laughs> or something insane like that. Like it, yeah, it did Jesus. such an amazing, it did such an amazing push for the local economy Yeah, that like Melbourne was like rich momentarily wow. yeah, well, while think, she was in town. I've wow. heard that her concerts have the same effect as a Super Bowl taking place yeah. in yeah, that city, yeah. which, it's crazy. you know, it's crazy to think. Cool. Yeah. Fucking nuts. Actually, actually, I, I, cool. I, 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 got, I got in this fucking argument with uh, Sydney oh, because- God. Oh god! Oh yeah, because you went to the concert, didn't you? I actually, I, I, I couldn't go in the end because I thought we thought we had more tickets than we did because oh, it was a lottery did system. Did you want to go? Huh? Did you want to go? I did actually want to go. Really? I just, just I, I want to see. Safety? I want. Like, I just want to see what the yeah, hype I, is. I, 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 if I got tickets, I'd go. Just, yeah. I just want to see the energy. Yeah. Right. I bet it being fucking unhinged. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we had we thought we had four tickets, but in in. Turned out we had two. Mm. Um, so I was like, I'm not gonna take it away from Sydney and her mom. Uh, yeah, course, so yeah. I'm gonna give it to them. Fun, funny thing, actually, <laughs> uh, Sydney's mom was just at a bar, full out gear down, like just Swifty merch, right? <laughs> she gets approached by this journalist uh. who's like, oh, I'm doing I'm doing an article uh, about Swifties. Can I do an interview? And her mom's like, sure. I, me or Sydney were not with her, by the way. Uh, and then he does his interview with, you know, this big Taylor Swift fan that he saw in a random bar. Um, looks at her second name and is like, do you have a daughter? No way. <laughs> and and, uh, and, and uh, she's like, yeah, yeah, I do have a daughter. And he's like, I think I've interviewed your daughter <laughs> for the Tokyo Weekender. That's funny. Oh, damn. Uh, and yeah, now, because it's funny. I saw uh, it this morning or the other day. It was it's, posted, right? Yeah, it was Japan. She she has an article in the Japan Times. <laughs> now, the Ponywares so family cannot be stopped. They now have an article damn. in the Tokyo Two Weekender. Two generations. <laughs> and uh, it got published a story because on the day, uh, she slipped on the stairs in our house and she like, we, we were like super fucking scared that oh, she Broke her, broke her arm. Oh, oh And we were like, oh my God, I think we need to go to the hospital. You know, we need to get stitches. And it was mm. like the day of the Taylor Swift concert. Oh. And she was like, patch me up, get me a bandage, but I'm making the concert. I am- Morphine <laughs> me up, <laughs> yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Take me to the hospital afterwards. I am making Taylor Swift and Does then you can do hospital? whatever. Sorry. Did she go to the hospital afterwards? Uh, she, she, no, she, she, just, she magically recovered by the end of the I, I, I have a feeling the music healed her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, power, the power of Taylor Swift, you know, oh healed It's like God. after every Shonen battle, like you know, it? the was scars it, Was it any different to an American concert or? I mean- Oh, I saw like articles that were like, Japanese fans think that Americans are barbaric for their for their <laughs> for their for their behavior at Taylor Swift yeah. concerts. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. Wrong. And, and, and the 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 only reason why uh, this was like the like it was a Western outlet calling. They were saying that the Japanese thought it was barbaric, but I actually yeah. when I saw other stuff, it wasn't that. I think there was just some some uh, outlets had just claimed that. Some Japanese people were might, were quite annoyed that yeah. they were people were just filming everything. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. normally a it's diff- very, very, very different, film, very yeah, different yeah, culture. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I guess some 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 Japanese people were annoyed that everyone's yeah. filming, but that's you know. But uh, after, yeah, uh, like afterwards, I got in a big like debate argument with okay. Sydney yeah. and yeah. her brother. Mm. Cause uh, we we're, we're a golden guy and yes, a golden guy. Yeah, you we were here in golden guy after okay, after the okay, Swift okay. concert, and um, I was like. Who do you think has gotten more famous, Taylor Swift or Michael Jackson? And I, I thought oh this was God. like an easy answer. Okay. Who do, who do you guys think? I think oh, that's a tough one. that is not an easy answer. Is it not an easy I, answer? I think, oh. I think in terms of life. I think, I think a year ago, if you'd asked me this question, I would have said 
easily Michael Jackson. But <sighs> nowadays, with how fucking often you oh, see Taylor think- Swift everywhere, it's hard. I, I, it's hard to say because none of say. us were alive at like peak Michael Jackson. Yeah, or we were like fucking Goo Goo Gaga brains. Well, so. that's like yeah. that's like asking the question like who who accumulated more fame over time, Taylor Swift or the Beatles? Yeah, like I, I think, it's difficult, right? I, I well, think, I, I think like our perspective is like skewed. I, I don't know how it felt to be a like a Michael Jackson fan at, at, during his peak. Yeah. It might have felt like this level of intense. Yeah. I've, 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 I think it's Michael Jackson, like easy, easy. Maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe give Taylor like a little bit more time. I think Michael Jackson makes way better music. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's not the question, Joey. So if I had to pick. I, I honestly, I think Taylor Swift. I think I'd go with Taylor Swift. Fuck yeah, off. Yeah, no way. So. It's hard, no man. No fucking way. No because shot. again, it's hard. Too early, well, too early. Yeah. The, too level, I, the level of influence she has at this point, I think is more influence than I think Michael Jackson had at his I think I think we won't know until yeah, we see the true. longevity of Taylor yeah, Swift's yeah, like yeah. after after this world tour ends. I think it's like some Dude, point at the Netflix end of this Netflix documentaries well, okay. gonna be like nineteen parts in the future with the amount of stuff we have now yeah. to cover. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's just more like media now, and I feel like the world is yeah, that's more why connected. I feel like she's mm. bigger. But like, I feel like Michael Jackson was able to reach like that fame like without having social media, um, and I feel like you know it's. It's but I also think without social media, there was less, like there was less channels to get it. So when you did get it, it was more impactful because there was not many other options. To me, to me, okay, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm basing this on like pure, yeah. let's say, anecdotal, like a lot of like anecdotal, yeah. anecdotal feelings and evidence. Mm. But because I don't know what the numbers are, but to me, like you know, you go to like this rand, you go to, I could go to this butt fuck nowhere middle of the countryside place in Thailand, you know, yeah. fucking barely any technology at all. Yeah. And people will have cassette tapes or just have knowledge of Michael Jackson, you know, because yeah. that was like, if, you, you know, his music really just perpetuated everywhere globally. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Taylor Swift has done a similar thing with, you know, technology and all that things. But I feel like, I feel feel like at the moment it's more it's more like the newer generation whereas mj back at the time Actually, I, I think the reason why taylor's so successful is that she's like generational like oh, I, totally. think, I think most ages you know sydney's mom who you know is pretty big yeah. around uh because taylor's been making music for god so damn long i don't really like taylor's music that much at all yeah i don't really yeah. listen to mm-hmm. it but i mean i yeah the, the impact is you undeniable you just put a target on your back yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, don't, all right. I don't, I don't, like I don't think guy swifties like. watch trash taste I don't, I, <laughs> and if they do they're angry yeah, like, I, I, don't, I don't think they watch trash taste so I, you know i, I mean I, you know it's not, just not for me i don't know man. knowing yeah. the swifties they're gonna find this episode yeah. somehow <laughs> I, I just not for me it's like word is that this random podcast said that they don't like Taylor Swift's music. Well, no, I just think it's get up. Yeah. You know, I think it's whatever. I, I, well, I don't think Taylor. Uh, I don't think Swift Swifty fans are made out to be the bad as, as brain dead as people make them out to be. Yeah, people make you them sure about that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think like if you if you're like I don't like the music that much, not for me. I don't think you just yeah. get attacked. I don't know, man. Yeah. I've seen Twitter before. I've seen Twitter, but then I feel like it's bait. Like when I've seen people get attacked, they're baiting so hard. You like think? Lot, yeah, I've seen a lot of people who- bait. I thought so at first as well. And then the more evidence I've seen, the more I'm like, oh wait, maybe, maybe there are yeah, actually insane. Like, I don't know. I don't well, know. with a fan base- Not saying every big. taste Swifty is yeah. like that, obviously, yeah. but- Yeah, I mean, if, well, if, if you, yeah, like you said- if it's Who, who do you think is the most famous musician in the world then? Taylor Swift. Like of right, all time? Right, or, no, of, right, of all of time. Of all time? Of all time. I'd say the Beatles. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> you don't have to even like the Beatles music. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I, I, just, I just you don't you don't have to even day. like the Beatles music, but you know who the Beatles are. Every now and then on Twitter, that that Wikipedia page of the movie Yoko made yeah. gets shared around. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen the it one with the John Lennon dick. Yeah, <laughs> have, you no, heard of this? Dude. <laughs> have you seen that movie? No, no, I haven't seen it. I've there's seen a, it. a thirty minute movie that Yoko Ono made. Is yeah, that Yoko yeah. Ono. Yeah, Ono. Oh, sorry, Yoko made uh, that was of just. Uh, his dick, John Lennon's dick. <laughs> what? I've seen. And then he just comes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like a th- this is like John type in John Lennon dick movie or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Well, I don't know what you type in to get this. Mm-hmm. Did you see the Wikipedia page? It's, it, it, it's a it's a wild read. It's a wild read. 
but while we're looking that up, right? Like, I think I think it's still the Beatles because, like, you know, we, we you talk about like, okay, we weren't alive during like the peak of like Michael Jackson's popularity, yeah, right? Yeah. We weren't alive during like the peak of Beatlemania, right? But you've seen footage of Beatlemania. Well, I've, Every- seen, I've seen footage of like Michael Jackson concerts as well. Oh and- yeah, but like Beatlemania was different because it's like it, they would be out in the fucking streets, like yeah. rioting. <laughs> To like get a chance to see this shit. <laughs> oh yeah, bed piece. Self yeah. portrait was a 1969 film made by the artist Yoko Ono, premiering at the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London, in 1996. The 42 minute film consists of a Sem- single shot of her husband's John Lennon's semi erect penis. Hell yeah! <laughs> Just like that's that shit's raw. Yeah, I that's mean, raw. like, the, have you heard the music that Yoko made with John Lennon? Nah, it's yeah. pretty bad. It's really yeah. weird and just like yeah. esoteric. Like, there's this uh, my favorite piece. I, I forgot what it was called, but it was from their like collab album, and it's just this like five six minute audio of just Yoko and John saying each other's names, and it's just like just Yoko, weird. just weird, John, just weird, Yoko, John. <laughs> yeah, it's literally it's literally Canada, but like it's that scene in like Akira. That's so weird. <laughs> It's like Naruto Sasuke, what but like going on. Yeah, it was fucking weird, bro. You're going as weird. Yeah, I would I, I would say the Beatles is like in my mind on the same level as like MJ. Yeah, in my mind for sure. I feel like Taylor Swift has the opportunity to get up to that level. I I don't think she's there. I think yet. Taylor Swift though has only been perpetuated because, as you said, we're so much more of like a connected yeah. race mm-hmm. of humans now that like you go on the internet and it's fucking impossible to avoid her now. Like every station you flip to, every like social media account you go to, someone or mm. something is talking about Taylor Swift. I just feel like it, it's a it's a double whammy, right? Because, yeah. you know, back in the days of the Beatles and Michael Jackson, I feel like there was just a lot less competition or a lot less things going on or like to compete with it. Cause I feel like popularity nowadays is ironically enough, like, a lot of in a lot of bubbles, right? Mm. You you can have like there are some fucking like Jinxie, for example, gets like two hundred K viewers on Twitch. Is, yeah. And I did not know who he was before the stream awards at all. Yeah. Even though he was on like a different level of popularity mm. than everything, yeah. you know, than a lot of other streamers. I had not heard of him because I'm in my own bubble of popularity about what I get what I get shown and what I get mm. seen. I believe that Taylor is one of the few people that has like perpetuated many, many bubbles online. Yeah. But I feel like there is still a lot of people, a lot of uh, a lot of people around the world that might not have had the same exposure mm. that a lot of the Western world would have in my, in my, in mm. my yeah. in, you know, talking about global popularity. Fair enough. And when I think about the Beatles and when I think about like Michael Jackson, that is, that is fucking global popularity. Yeah, I think it's a difference is- between like, commercial success, which mm-hmm. I think Taylor yeah. has definitely got <clears throat> yeah. over people like MJ and the Beatles. Yeah. yeah. But then there's the other form of fame, which is like the notoriety. It's yeah. like how many people even know who you are, right? Exactly. Like, there must be a way to quantify this. Some some big brain scientist must be able to quantify. Like hyper, influence. okay, he, like here's, a, here's an Relevancy. interesting question, man. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think this name is more known around the world right now? Taylor Swift or Elvis Presley? Taylor Swift, bro, 100%. You think? 100%. Again, you don't have to like Elvis' music. You know who Elvis is. I think, I unlike like- Michael Jackson, Elvis definitely was more America-centric. Yeah, I feel like- I think so? I don't think I don't think like someone in like a boy in the Philippines was listening to Elvis that much. Well, I actually, no, he probably was. No, no, yeah. no I, they're pro- but they probably at least know the name. I, I, yeah, yeah, maybe. You know, yeah. they, might, they don't even have to know who, who he was. They I just like, know the name Elvis Presley. I feel like Elvis is kind of, his notoriety is kind of- it's just, Wait, it's just older. It's older than Michael Jackson. Yeah, way, he's way, way older. older. He's like in the 50s. Yeah, That's probably yeah. actually why he, I'm sure back in the 80s, he was what Michael Jackson was in the 2010s, right? Like yeah. everyone knew him. Right. But I feel like his influence has like- is, It's weaker every year. It, it, it's oh, yeah, also it's that, way, it's also that Elvis waning. movie was ass. Did you watch that yeah. Elvis movie? No, I, I saw a bit of it on the plane. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Fucking yeah. snooze fest. Well, it's cause you know, a lot of these estates, they like, I think also like the queen one, they like, they won't allow them to like tell the real story. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. They don't like, want to tarnish the name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. you know, Freddie, Freddie Mercury without, without having a, like a live story about Freddie Mercury without discussing like AIDS or HIV. Yeah. It's just 
not his life not story. Not his yeah. life story. That's yeah. just, like that's just like. But that's why Bohemian Rhapsody was so good. Well, I mean, they t they barely touched on it though. Yeah, but at like. least yeah. they touched upon. Yeah, it. Yeah, I guess it helped. But like, yeah. I think the Elvis one didn't do well because. Right. The story of Elvis is fucking insane. Like, oh like, yeah, the, I feel like they could he have did been a lot way of terrible more things. Yeah, but this is why. Like, I, I don't know if you ever watched this, but um, have you ever watched the Joaquin Phoenix uh, Johnny Cash? Yes, film? that's such a good. That's fucking, a fantastic. That's movie. such a great way to do a biopic. It's yeah. like, yes, this man was very flawed, but like, we can still sell, tell a compelling story. Yeah, uh, and, and not like it's, it's public record. Everyone knows the stuff. Like, we're not tarnishing his name. His name exists with or without this. Like having mm -hmm. a movie, like if you don't like someone like, jo like not just how you've done that, if you don't like uh, uh, Freddie Mercury for being gay, mm. like a movie telling you that he was gay is not gonna like <laughs> change that, right? Like you're, you're still homophobic. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's not gonna tarnish his reputation. You yeah. know what I mean? So have I feel seen, like- Have you seen that famous picture of Johnny Cash when he was young and he's sitting in a bush high off his mind no, eating an entire that. cake. No, I haven't <laughs> <seen> <laughs> look, up, look, Johnny Cash. look up Johnny Cash cake in a bush. Uh, so, so how, how was it having a deal with uh, Sydney's family for two weeks? It must have been great. Oh, it was- Fun. Two weeks, a long time though. That Actually, that's how much I did with my parents. It was a lot. Yeah, there's yeah, the yeah. Johnny Cash cake. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just absolutely cracked out eating oh, cake in a bush. Yeah. His fucking music's so good. It's oh, oh. He's fantastic. Rest was in it peace. Jailhouse, Jailhouse. Uh, what's that one song? I love that song. Um, is it Jailhouse? It's what? called. I think about Jailhouse Rock, which no, is an Elvis Presley. Not, 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 not Jailhouse yeah. Rock. This. What's the one where he's like, I, I killed a man in Reno, I shot him in the head, something like that. I don't know oh, what um, fuck. What's yeah? I know which song you're talking about. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, that's him, right? That is him. It's such okay. a banger. Yes, I forgot the name though. He made like 500. Albums. I shot yeah. a man in Reno just a while. <laughs> now imagine that man. <laughs> it's the one right back. Yeah, such I don't a fucking know. banger. So, so, sometimes with like artists and musicians, there's. You know, like with Elvis, which I I feel like is more America centric. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he, he got yeah. global fame, but I feel like in America, yes, he's still very, very influential yeah. and very, very well known. I'm not sure as well as worldwide as much as like mm. the Beatles and MJ. I, I yeah. also don't think about this that much. Hmm? I don't think about this that much. Who's more famous? What? But I guess it's a fun little exercise. It's, to think it's, about yeah, it's it's more famous. Well, it's like you know, it's it's fun to think about. It's rare for any one person to get this yeah, true. amount of like fame. Every generation you know? has that one person who does it. Who, okay, here's a question. Who is the most famous person right now? So, like in the world? Donald Trump? Yeah, probably Donald Trump. Like really? Everyone, probably. Yeah, I feel yeah. like his name is probably- Can you look it up? Who's the most famous person right now? It's probably him, right? I feel like everyone knows him, unfortunately. Really, you yeah. think? Yeah, I do think so. I think, I feel that's only in the English speaking world. But it's like it's like I think when Barack was president, Barack was the most famous person on on yeah. Earth. Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, yeah, true. The Queen, probably, yeah, the Queen probably yeah, was yeah, for a long time. Yeah, the Queen probably Dwayne was for Johnson. a long time. Oh, Dwayne Johnson is very famous. Yeah, Will Smith. Will Smith, get it. <laughs> <laughs> How is Michelle Obama? <laughs> More famous than, than Donald. Oh, the same level. This is so. I mean, like, yeah. how do you quantify that? Like, yeah. you just go yeah. to the guy and like the mountains of Myanmar and be like, do you know who Michael Jackson? No, okay. Uh, the queen. Out of, the, like out of this list of names, yeah. who do you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, any of these ring a bell. Ronaldo. Yeah. Ronaldo. <laughs> like, yeah, I think Chris. probably a footballer, honestly, is probably the, I don't know, the Trump, oh, fuck, who's, who cares? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who cares? Who fucking cares? Um, they're all famous, who yeah, cares? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, they're all famous. I, they're all more famous well, it's, than it's, me. It's like trying to quantify who's the most richest person in the world, yeah. you know, where it's like, it doesn't matter. It's. Interesting thought right. experiment, you know. We, we went to karaoke with uh, uh, Sydney's brother. Mm. And when we went to this karaoke room, it was the most dog smelling room of my life. Oh, it yeah. smelled horrific. Oh Once yeah. you go to uh, Monique Nickel? Well, yeah, They, I think you guys were like, yeah, we're gonna go drink at this place. And then it was, and then, a, it was a Saturday night and like yeah. everywhere was full. Everywhere. So we, they went to like a karaoke. Yeah. And we, I got in this room and I was like, oh. It smelled like feet. It's it it. It smelled like people had done some stuff in there. Yeah, like people are definitely fucked in that room. Yeah, oh, of course, most, most definitely. Of course, yeah. Was a karaoke place where you had that fucking random guy show up? I saw I saw a video on Twitter or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that. What? Yeah. So uh, oh my god. Well, okay. So for context, uh, I think why you were think, streaming or something. No, no, no. I think both. I've taken you both there. There's there's a cigar bar that that I I like to go to. Um, I don't know. Oh, is it the one that we all went to together? Yeah, I've yeah, yeah. we've been there. We've been there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I don't normally get like, which I don't, one? We've been to a few. It's the the one. The one in the one, one? 
the one with the um, it's like a it's like a really it's a counter with a window on the basement. Oh, the one yeah. with the seat yeah, 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 uh, yeah, stairs yeah, yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it's a really, really great like cigar bar. I mean, even just like not not for, not for specifically cigars. It's just like for drinks. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm. The guy is really chill. I've been there so many times. Yeah, he's very friendly with me. Uh, we have a good rapport. I told him the other day that I bring a bunch of YouTubers here, and he was like, "What the fuck?" Uh, <laughs> he was like, "What really?" I was like, "Yeah, it's tight." Anyway, um, I went there with Pete, um, and uh, we went there one time, and there was this like. There's this guy in the corner of the bar alone with a bottle of champagne drinking it. Uh, he had like, he looked like a Yakuza side character because he had blonde hair wearing a red puffer jacket, mm -hmm. sunglasses on in a dark room. Yeah. It was just like a literal Yakuza, like type in Yakuza side character. And I bet he looks like one, I, I'll, I'll be like, which one does he look like? My character during a cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Literally, literally, like he, he looked like dripped out, but in the way that makes you think like, ah, this guy's job is definitely of the, un, like an unusual factor. Uh, yeah, it's like some some kind of fit like that. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. a, a, a weird fit. And he started talking to us, mm. and we were talking back to him, you know, because me and Pete are quite friendly, uh, especially Pete. Pete's very good at, you know, <laughs> yeah, he can talk to anyone. Yeah. So so he he's talking to us and uh, Japanese guy. Yeah, Japanese guy, right. and uh, we're talking back in Japanese, and he's like, "Let me buy you some champagne." And we're like, "Oh, okay, yeah, that's very <laughs> kind of you." So he buys us champagne and whatnot, and we. We're like, let's buy champagne back. He's like, no, I'll buy you another champagne. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then he's like, come to my spot. I have a great spot in Shibuya. We're like, okay, we go there. And it's just this like Yakuza den. Right. Like Kabakura place. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah. like, really <clears throat> slimy. And this guy's just buying Don Perignon bottles. And then he like, he like wouldn't talk to us when we got to the second spot. Yeah. And like Pete is desperately trying to have a conversation with him. And he's got his back to Pete just smoking c cigarettes. And while these three Yakuza dudes are like, like bowing down to him, trying to talk to him uh, in suits. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, no. And Pete's like, hey, uh, what do you, you know, uh, it was something like Suzuki-san. Hey, Suzuki-san, thank you so much uh, for the, the, the Don Perry on. Yeah. Uh, what, what, you know, uh, is there anything that you want to talk about or want to, and he's just like, he's just blanking Pete for like two hours. He's, Pete is trying to get a word out of him and he's just not having it. And he's like, he goes, and he goes, bring over the girls. And he tries to get these girls to talk to Pete. And yeah. Pete's just like, no, no, I don't want to talk to the girls. I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you. Cause he's just spending when he, he goes, oh, uh, and Pete goes, no, no, it's okay. We don't want any more champagne. Cause he's spending like a thousand dollars a bottle. Yeah, like, no yeah. fucking, we just met this guy. And uh, he's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. And then he goes, okay, fine. If you don't want Don Perignon. And he goes, can you bring my bottles over? These, these like four dudes in suits come over with like two trays of every single alcohol ever. Yeah. And they're like, ah, these are all my bottles. Which one do you want, Pete? And Pete's like, no, man. I, no, I just, <laughs> it's so good. And meanwhile, they, they keep trying to get us to, so he's like, oh, you should, uh, we, we, could, we could take you to Love Hotel after this. We're like, no, 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 this is not what we're trying Pick to do. Pick the girl, which yeah. girl do you yeah, want? Yeah, we're like, no, 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 we, we just wanted to talk to you because I thought it would be a fun story. Yeah. Because uh, whenever a Japanese guy's like, come to my bar, I'm like, okay, let's do it. Because it's always, you always get an interesting story. Yeah. yeah. So that, to, that, that's to like lay the groundwork of this kind of, uh, this kind of experience that we had. A week yeah. later, me and Pete go back with Mudan. Uh, Cause Mudan just uh, moved to Japan. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was like, let's go to, uh, let's, you know, let's, let's, so we went out for great food and I was like, let's, you know, let's get, let's do like just a little bit of cocktails. Mm. Um, and then, yeah. And with the moment we sit in that, down in that bar again, same guy. Not, no, no different guy. <laughs> he, he told us that he was in the Philippines this time. Oh, All right, right, and okay. I, asked, I asked him what he did for work. He was like, he goes, supplement. So supplements, he sells supplements, which I, <laughs> 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 I was like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> And then I was like, what did you, what did you do before that? He goes, Fudosan. And I was like, oh, real, real estate. estate. And I was like, okay, if there are two, if there are two <laughs> industries where you might make me think you're a little, yeah. little connected. Yeah. Uh, Cause like when we went into if that building- juggling real estate and supplements, yeah. it's a bit <laughs> sus, you know? Cause when we went into that building, like me and Pete got out the taxi and walked in first and the guy was behind us and they wouldn't let us in. They were like, no, 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 no foreigners. And then this guy walked in and he was like, and yeah. then they all like parted like the Red Sea. It was so funny. It was so cool. Isn't that fucking scary though? It was terrifying, yeah. but it was so fun. Cause it was, it Cause was so cool. Cause what's to say like, you know, this guy is like feeding you all these like Don Perignons and shit. Right? Yeah, no. And yeah, then absolutely. for him to suddenly turn around being like, by the way, here's the bill. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, this happened. No, so, no, no, it didn't happen. Uh, Cause you know, a lot of the times in a, a Japanese person is like, come to the bar with me. Yeah. Uh, they'll always pay. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's like, you know, yeah. they want to, they want to, 
It's because it's like their responsibility. Sure. To, to, yeah. You know, that's a, but obviously I always offer. It's like a gambit. It's like a, I got a, I offer to be polite. I'm like, hey, yeah. can I split this? And knowing how much it could be. And then uh, I don't know how much it was, but I think if I had to guess, it, mu it must have been around like three or four thousand dollars he Sheesh. spent. If you're doing bottles of Dom Perignon in And apparently this bottle. guy, they would tell me he goes there every week. So oh, I don't. He goes like every oh, week. I mean, he must be making money. so much money off the yeah, supplements, right? It's, it's the supplements, man. Yeah. What can I say? Nice guy though. Nice guy, nice guy, <laughs> nice guy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so we go back to the same bar and there's a different guy and uh, it's him. He's really, really like loud and he's with a very young Japanese woman. Mm. Uh, and uh, we sit down 10 seconds into sitting down. He's like, hello in English, like really like super energetic. And we're like, yeah. oh, hi. And I look at Pete, I'm like, oh, not again. <laughs> He's, he's talking to us and he's like, what do you do? I say, oh, I do uh, I do videos of, of Japan. He's like, oh, what kind of videos? I was like, weird. I said like, Henna no Nihon no Bunker. Mm. Like ah. strange Japanese weird, culture. Yeah, yeah, weird videos, culture. Yeah. And he goes, ho, 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 I have the bar just for you. <laughs> I was like, uh, cause he, he said it in English. Yeah. And I was like, oh God, I was like, what, what is it? And he shows us this video of a dude naked smashing chopsticks with his ass. And I was like, what the fuck? Dude, I, I'm pretty sure that's a Yakuza side like, quest, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Uh, yeah, so, and then like, Mudan has more videos of this. And then uh, he's like, yeah, come to the bar. And I'm like, well, Pete, we can't say no. I want to see this bar. So I thought it was going to be in like Shinjuku or something, but we, he's like, go to this address. So we go to Ginza in this mm -hmm. like really fancy area. Mm -hmm. Everyone around us is wearing suits, kimonos, yeah. tuxes. Yeah. Every bar is like $400 every hour. It's ridiculous. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of zaddies in Ginza. So we go up to this bar and the guy's there and this guy just, <laughs> this guy just starts getting fucking naked right away. And we're like, what the fuck is this? And this is Mudan's like second night ever out in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, Mudan, I'm so sorry. Uh, and I was like, you should at least film this though. Yeah. You know, you're doing your daily vlog. I was yeah. like, you gotta put this in. <laughs> I was like, I'll be, an, I told him I'd be annoyed if you don't put this in a vlog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, I can't put this in. I'm like, P blur it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so this, this guy who's like, he's like a big guy. And I guess he's the friend and he just keeps dressing up and stuff. He dresses up as Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. sings beat it within 10 seconds, strips naked. And it's like, what is this? <laughs> And like, and like, he does this thing where he's like, all right guys, I'm gonna do my magic trick. And he like grabs his pants, like wedgies himself and then shoves a chopstick in between his pants and his butt and goes, oh, and then tightens his butt and like snaps the chopstick and the chopstick just flies onto us. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> Meanwhile, this Japanese guy who brought us here, he's loving it. He's like, it's like the funniest thing he's ever seen. You'd think he'd never seen a funnier thing in his life. He's going, oh, 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 oh. And like his escort, I assume with him is like, oh my God, oh no, this is vile, this is disgusting. Yeah. And then he just starts getting his, his dick out. He starts, and then after he keeps upping the ante, he keeps, he goes, breaks one chopstick. She's like, okay, uh, okay. Right. Three chopsticks, you're like, okay, I kind of get it. Because five chopsticks, you're like, okay, I get it, I get it. Seven chopsticks. Now he's going okay. for the world record. Okay, <laughs> I, I believe you. I believe you're gonna snap these chopsticks with your butt. Stop. He just starts like exposing himself. And then one time he goes, all right, watch this trick. And he just shoves chopsticks up his pee pee. Oh, he sounds himself. Oh. Not, not, not in the in the thing. He puts it over his uh, his skin. Oh fuck! Oh, okay, oh okay. thank not, God, not in in. Yeah, I thought and it was like oh. dancing. And I'm like, why are we here? This is disgusting. That sounds and then really he, awesome. He spreads his butt at one point and then gives it the guy water guns. It's like spray my ass. <laughs> and so this guy is loving it. He's losing his mind. Meanwhile, we're all fucking traumatized watching this. And he spreads his cheeks and there's just shit in his ass. There's like paper in his butt. We're like, what the fuck is this? He needed a quick bidet session, right? <laughs> and this is where the guy took it. We were here for like an hour. It felt like five. Yeah. Uh, and this was like, yeah, it was, it was traumatizing. Oh my and God. then he goes, hey, can I add you online? Like, can I have your number? And I'm like, oh. Fine, yeah, cause I, I was like, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna add him. I'll just, I'll, let yeah. him, I'll just give him my details. Uh, he adds me, he just sends me a picture of his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, wait, you got, yeah. so all you I'm got gonna, dick picked? All I'm gonna say is where's my invite? <laughs> 
I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Bro, it's violent. Let me see. What a, what a microwave. That, what the fuck is that? That looks like someone took a dick and microwaved it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> why is it so, why is it so brown? It's so The small. skin tone is so off. It's so, it's so off. And, uh, but the other, like there was no one else in this bar until mm -hmm. like we were about to leave. And when we lay, left, like, the people in this bar were fucking loving it. They were having the time of their life. It was insane. <laughs> and he just kept doing costume changes and then immediately getting naked. It was so bizarre. It was so weird. I, I've never experienced anything like that in my life in Japan. Um, we need I to don't go. think I want, you don't want to go. <laughs> I, I don't know if go. I want to experience that. <laughs> I want to go. The what was weird was right, is that we were at the bar, the, the bar prior, and uh, which was about 30 minutes away from this bar. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure, let's go to this bar. And he's like, okay, okay, okay. And he, he does a phone call. Mm. And then the guy who kept getting naked and whatnot, yeah. he showed up to the bar we were at. And he's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> He like so he is he just like a, a drink. He smashes a drink and then gets in a cab with the, the guy who's loving it. And we go to this bar and then he just starts getting naked at this bar. I don't even know if he worked there. But he was just getting is he just naked. just like a performer? <laughs> just like yeah, because he gave me his card and he yeah. is like- I think he's been on the supplements, if you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean. Because there was, this was definitely an odd building because opposite it was, uh, and this is something I'd never seen either before. It was um, it was like a, a male, um, it was like a cross-dressing geisha. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, like bar. It was very, it was very interesting. This oh, whole floor wow. was filled with very bizarre bars that I'd never mm. seen before. Uh, definitely want to go and uh, see more of these weird places. I love. <laughs> this is my favorite part of Japan. Yeah, like the the weird, undocumented bizarreness of Japan. The underbelly. It's yeah. so interesting because, yeah. like, yeah, I hear about the temple. So yeah, I hear it all before. Yeah. Tell me the weird shit that salarymen do in their free time. That's what interests oh, me. That. So when it, this is like a, and everyone always just tells me like, why would you follow random Japanese people around? I'm like, well, it's Japan. It's probably fine. Yeah, uh, and if you're with friends, you'd, yeah, have, yeah. you'd have to be pretty unlucky. Yeah, yeah. Are you with friends? And you know, most people. Not to, to say we advocate you to do yeah. that on no. your next visit, but yeah. like, yeah. if if. If they are trying to sell you something, like it depends how they approach it. So a lot of these people, you know, like in that bar as well was in Ginza and very expensive. <clears throat> we didn't pay a fucking penny. Mm. I, I offered and mm -hmm. we didn't pay a penny. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, like a lot of these people are very well-meaning. They just, if, if you're a foreign person and you speak a little bit of Japanese and you just show interest in the culture and you're willing to converse with them and have a good conversation, a lot of people will just want to show you cool stuff. Mm. Uh, and to them, and I think to this guy, that was like a great spot, like a hidden gem. You know, and to him, I don't think that was unusual. But to us, that's just bad shit insane. But like, and it's it's hard to reframe that, right? Because I don't think it's like a like a I don't know like a it's a sinister underbelly. I think to him, that's like a fucking Friday night out. Yeah, he's yeah, probably yeah, just a regular is. ass salary man on the yeah, weekends, yeah. right? And he just does that on the weekends for fun. Yeah, I asked him what he did for work. He said consulting. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, bro, consult. So that goes to the dick bar. <laughs> <laughs> But like, I mean, yeah, I don't checks think it was, out, checks and, out. And like, for, to, for example, Travis, I don't think this is like a, my impression of this was that it wasn't like, it wasn't like Nichome, like the gay district. It wasn't like mm -hmm. a, a gay thing, like mm. a gay bar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't aimed at gay men or, uh, it was like a, just a, cause in Japan, there's this weird fascination with being naked for humor. Yeah. There oh, are yeah. a lot of yeah. like, like acts and uh, performances where people get naked and that is the joke. Well, it's kind of like slapstick, right? Well, have you you never got your cock out in front of your friends before? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> the onset. Only onset. Only onset. No, like, no, like when, when you're out, like, when yeah, you're yeah. out, like drinking with your mates. <laughs> no, you haven't done that, Jerry. Oh, I have. I didn't see Australian. <laughs> Actually, why. that checks out. Yeah, that's a joke. Yeah, that, that is definitely oh, a joke. Like, to do. And so, like, to, to to kind of like, I love trying to explain <laughs> this as a concept to like friends because they're like, why would he do that? And I'm yeah. like, because that's just funny to them. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is just, this is like bants to them. Seeing like, your mate's dick in public is the funniest thing in the world. I feel like that's an all boy school thing. Too. Yeah, that is, <laughs> no. that is an all boy yeah, That is an all boy. Well, I, I think I have the triple threat. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. he gets his cock out and it's like, oh, it's funny. If I yeah. get my cock out, it's sexual harassment. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, have, I, have the, I have the triple threat of the, I went to an all boy school, I'm Japanese and I'm Australian. <laughs> Bro, exactly. It's like, it, you, you go to like a normal school and it's just like, you're gonna get reported by a girl and you're probably gonna get suspended. You know? oh, no, I'm not gonna get my cock out if there's girls around. That's the, that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually sexual harassment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's just the boys though, then I'm like, you've seen this before, you've got one. Fucking whatever, get yeah, it out. I'm just yeah. making it my mission to go through 
complete all of the Japan nightlife, visit all the weird things. Just say yes to everything. I do, That's, I say yes yeah. to literally everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is why it's great hanging out with Pete doing this because Pete also is always down to say yes. Yeah. To You're trying um, 100% a Yakuza game right now. <laughs> dude, the side quests I'm racking up are great. I, I It's so fun just talking to people and uh, getting to just, because I always ask like, whenever I talk to Japanese people now, especially at bars, I'm like, where do you recommend I go? Mm -hmm. And they always give me something weird. Yeah. yeah. There's something that I would never go to. Um, like that time, I don't think I ever told you. I went to this like, uh, I went to a Kenyan bar. Did I tell you, tell you about this? <laughs> what? I went to a Kenyan bar for this Japanese guy. I was like, I'm, this is the spot. I know a place. Because <laughs> I met the guy through Apex. I played oh, Apex shit. with the guy. Okay. And yeah. He was like, I know a place. It's so fucking good. I was like, okay, sure. He's like, yeah, it's a cool Kenyan bar. I was like, okay, I, 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 okay, sure. So we go up there and the window was smashed in. <laughs> and I was like, what? I don't think I never told you about this, but I think I did tell you that the bartender was, he was obviously Kenyan. Yeah. Uh, he spoke English. Right. Ah. Oh. And uh, he was talking shit about the Japanese guy I was with. He was like, this guy keeps asking for shit music. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, this guy's hyping up the spot. And this guy keeps telling me that, that he has fucking dog shit music. He's getting betrayed right in front of him. Yeah, that was like, I'm like, he's like, what? He, and he asked me, what did he say? I was like, ah, he likes your music. I told him in Japanese. And then he looked like, at he's me. He's my bro. Yeah. And he looked at me because he obviously knows Japanese. He like, yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> Like, that's a weird choice of translation. Uh, but yeah, no, I just love saying yes. Cause you always get taken to these fucking weird places. Sure. That's just a great time. It was a great time. Um, I think that's why you'd really enjoy playing a Yakuza game. If you ever decide to be- like, you're, you're, This, this entire like, thing is just I'd be a Yakuza like, game. Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't go far enough. <laughs> like, where's the guy snapping chopsticks with his anus? Oh, there's much <laughs> worse. There's, there's, that's a standard Yakuza <laughs> side yeah. mission. Like people are like, oh my God, it's like a Yakuza side that's, mission. I'm, that's like, a, I'm, like, I'm like, where do you think this shit is based on? Yeah. Like, that's, a, you, that's a tutorial level. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you think this shit is made up? No, oh. this is based in reality yeah. in Japan. Totally. You just wouldn't see it because a lot of these areas are very, you would never get like you would never go here as a foreigner, no. mm -hmm. but also a lot of them wouldn't wouldn't make you feel welcome unless a dude brings you in. Yeah, I think you got a lot of these places are level cap. You need a goat. You need a goat to bring you in. Um, but we we took a we took we took Russell to a. Girl's oh, we did! Bar. I completely forgot we took oh, Russell God. to a girls' bar because when when we went from this karaoke, there was no other places that were open. Yeah, uh, and there was this one building in Ichigaya that was. Fucking run down. <laughs> it was the shittiest looking building in Ishigaya. Um, it was like rusted, eight, like six floors. The building was like old, and there were so many dudes in suits outside of it. Mm. Uh, and Sydney was like, well, if we go to the girls' bar? I was like, we're not getting in the girls' bar. We are six foreign looking people. <laughs> In a, in a business district, yeah. We're yeah. Not, they're not going to let us in. But Sydney's like the pro in like convincing girls. I don't, even, I don't even think she was like like legible. I but I think, like she and then she goes up to them. <laughs> sure enough, we, we're inside. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney just has <sighs> as soon as Sydney goes like foreign girl speaks Japanese and like anime voice. Every fucking every ja bro, every Japanese bro. guy, like, oh, guy wow, like it. loves it. He's just like, come I on in. How many foreigners? Charming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charming. Yeah. How she's like. I think. Her, like Sydney speaking Japanese when she's drunk sometimes, it doesn't even make sense. No, um, <laughs> I get an aneurysm every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I wanted, I was like, I don't mind being home by eleven, guys. Yeah. I was, I was happy to peace out. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Of course, we went in there, and the night went longer. Yeah, uh, every every girl was in like. So did girl. Russell like it? Russell fucking loved it. I think he liked it. Yeah, because yeah. I, the, it was a, it was a counter. Yeah. So I, I was sitting between Russell and Didus, and it was you, Sydney, and. Emily. Emily, yeah. And they were all bunny girls. Yeah, everyone was bunny girls. It was I was literally- I was trying to explain to Russell, I was like, so so the, the main appeal of these bars is that you, you talk to the girls yeah. and, they, and they just have conversation, they drink with you. So if you're like a 50 year old man who hates your marriage, there's a place you can pay money where you, you, you it's not cheating, but you feel like you, you know, girls kind of like, Thinks you're interesting. Yeah, Maybe it's, it's kind of like- You kind of get like an emotional, they kind of gas you up a little bit sometimes too. You can be like, oh, my, this is my job. And they'll be like, that sounds so hard. It it's kind of like hard. a strip club, but you don't pay for- They don't strip, the strip on you, they just you talk just, to you. They <laughs> just talk to you. And sometimes they wear bunny girl outfits and uh, different themes. And obviously you pay per, per hour. Oh, it's per, per drink. hour. Per, uh, per hour. Per hour. And, and then there's a set menu. Yeah. yeah. But nobody went with the menu. And I was yeah. trying to tell people, I was like, guys, it's gonna be very expensive if we buy per drink. But yeah. everyone was like, nah, we're gonna do what it, I was like, okay. Fuck, okay. Well, well, the problem is Connor got really, really fucking drunk that night. And uh, I wasn't even that drunk. I wasn't drunk. 
Were you not? No, I, that was the worst part is that I wasn't drunk and I was trying to tell Russell, I was like, all right, so the culture is that we buy them drinks. <laughs> cause like- I, we, we buy the, the girls' culture. The culture. The I, culture is we, cause here's what's gonna happen. If, if you go to a girl's bar, right, in Japan and you don't buy a girl a drink, yeah, uh, cause it's kind of, it's like frowned upon. They're not gonna talk to you. Mm -hmm. And if you yeah. wanna get the experience of like, hey, you wanna talk to them? I know yeah. this sounds kind of scummy or whatever, but like, yeah. this is like, you know, if you go to Japan- hey, it's the culture. It's, it's, it's the culture. And they'll, they'll, they'll stand in front of you like this and they'll wait for a drink. And if you don't buy a drink, it'll get really awkward or they just won't serve you. They'll yeah. just leave you alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which is fine if, you, if you're okay with that. But I, I was like, you know what? I, I'll try and show them what it's about. Mm. So I'm like, ah. Oh. Do you want a drink? And then this girl comes right next to her and she's like, can I have a drink too? And I was like, oh, fine, sure. Bear in mind, these are $10, $10 a piece at least. Yeah. Like 15, I yeah, think. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, okay. They're very, very overpriced because you're paying them and this is the, their tips basically. And I swear to God, dude, they are watering down their drinks. Like- Of I've, course they I've, are. Yeah. I've net, but like this is, and, and normally, right? It's like a, there is like a, if you, you go to these places, there's like a, they'll, you, you go and they'll drink a drink and then, maybe like 30 minutes or an hour later, they'll be like, hey, can I have another drink? And you're like, yeah. sure, whatever. But my God, 10 minutes later, they're like, can we have another drink? And I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, fine. No, of course they're worried because they can't get too drunk, what, right? What it, felt, what it felt like, because um, Connor was like trying to, he was like doing the tutorial so for I Russell. So I was translating for <laughs> Russell and Ditus. Yeah. I was like, I was doing the, I was doing the conversation yeah. and it was tough, man. Yeah. It was tough. Cause, cause I, cause I know Welcome it works. My life. Yeah. Bro, cause they weren't even like, they would like, they were talking and then they would just stop. And I'd be like, all right, okay, you guys have one. You guys want to ask anything? <laughs> I don't want to talk to them. That. I'm good. I feel good. No, because I I, I think the mistake you made was buying saying saying yes to buying not not because like because I, I was talking to a girl and you know I was like explaining to Russell, hey, you buy them a drink and then yeah. they talk to you. The difference is Connor bought multiple girls drinks whenever because they'd ask. They would come, they would tag team and then, in and fuck me. And then I saw, it was like, you know, when ants discover like sugar water yes, it was like and then that. the entire nest just like comes in. And then, and then I was like, okay, Russell, here's how it works. And I look over and there were like three girls around Connor being like, can we buy drinks? And then <laughs> like, like halfway yeah. through the night, Connor just looks at me and goes, God, Help, help me. Yeah, I was like, help. I Get keep me out of buying here. them drinks. And I'm like, Connor, just say no. I couldn't say no. Cause I didn't want the vibe to be ruined. <laughs> because I think Russell was loving it. It was going great. Of course he was loving it. There were a bunch of girls in bunny girl outfits talking to talking them. Yeah. And it was going great. It was and having was a great like, time. The vibe was immaculate. Cause a lot of these bars, they just, they also do don't want to talk to foreigners as well. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. we were crushing it. We were, we were making, you know, we were, a gen we were fixing generational divides here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know and I, yeah. I, so, uh, but then that's when I started to get annoyed is that I don't mind, you know, if we're talking, it's whatever, but then they would be like, they'd be like, and then the yeah. two girls would go and two girls would turn up and I'm like, what? They'd be like, can we have a drink? <laughs> what? And it's there was this one, loop. there was this one girl who, was chirping. She, she, <laughs> I, I, we barely spoke and she would just keep coming over in English, even though I was like, Japanese is okay. She'd come yeah. over, she'd go like, can I have a drink please? And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's cause you, you know what happened? It's cause like the rumor spread around. They're like, yeah, okay, they okay. This guy says yes to everything. Yeah, yeah they did. Milk, they found they the yes man. Milk, milk the fuck out I of him. I thought we would be done in like an hour. Yeah, but we were there for two hours, and I've never been milked like that in my life. So, what was that the was... damage? Well, jo well, Joey, actually, Joey. So, so about halfway through, Gaunt goes, "You should buy everyone a drink at the bar. Every single person." I, I was, I drink. was egging him on. Why are you pouring salt into the wound? Because I was like, I was like, this motherfucker has dug himself into a <laughs> hole. And I want, I want to, I want to see him like just keep digging. This know? man is one life point <laughs> left. Yeah. Like, like, he's like, I'm gonna summon blue eyes. That was like, <laughs> that was like ten girls and like four, five other customers. Jesus. Yeah. And I was like, well, gone. 
I'll I'll do that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use the trash taste card for this. <laughs> wait, 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 you know that that's also my money as well, right? <laughs> yeah, but- I was not there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hold on, this is bullshit. Okay. I need that money back. <laughs> no, no. I need to no. see what the damage okay, is wait, no, but wait, wait, hold up. I got, I got the video. It might change your mind. Okay. okay. I, I filmed it for you. Hold on. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are like, by the way, we spent your money. <laughs> no, no, no. Cause we, we got the video for trash text. <laughs> and then we did uh we we did get um to feed Russell a shot. So your money wasn't wasted. We got it used for trash taste. So, I mean There you go. I mean okay, that's great. So yeah, yeah, yeah. but thank you, Jerry. Appreciate it. We, so, we also bet that you wouldn't notice. <laughs> I mean, I did it. <laughs> yeah, it's been like a month now. <laughs> I can't believe so, this shit. So, <laughs> so basically, Joey, what happened yeah, is we had it. a we had a shareholder meeting. Yeah, we did a shareholder meeting. <laughs> we, we, yeah. A shareholder we, meeting. We had a shareholder meeting. You were for, outvoted two for, to three for, for trash taste. It was it was majority votes. Um, okay, wh whisper in my ear. How much was the damage? I use a Juniman. Juniman for five seconds of footage to use on trash days. It's the most expensive fucking investment ever. You guys were having a fucking hunky dory time. And it's like, don't worry, Joey. We got five seconds of footage to use for trash taste. It only cost us a grand. You fucking dickheads. So, so. I can't believe this shit. Why am I working hard for? <laughs> what do you mean? It was only like, what's that in today's dollars? Is that 800 bucks? No, it's like, it's like close to a grand. No, it's like 800. It's so. like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's $800 up. for five seconds of footage. <laughs> so um, it's not even, it's, it's filmed vertically. You didn't even film it horizontally. <laughs> yes, yes. But think about how good of a moment this is oh for all of us. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> think about how great of a moment this is. The most expensive is. segment so on Trash Taste ever. So. So Connor's like- We've done all these extravagant <laughs> specials. <laughs> so Connor's like, guys, so Connor, Connor turns to me drunk and I'm drunk as well at this point because we're like two hours in. And I'm like, I'm like <laughs> devil's advocate. I'm like, Connor, ha, what a, what a fucker. He's going to put all this on his credit card. Connor, buy everyone a drink. And he turns to me and just Una reverse cards me. And he's just like, I want to use the trash taste card. I'm like, Connor, <laughs> Jerry's going to be pissed. <laughs> it's like, it'll be great. We'll reveal it to him. It'll be a great moment. <laughs> Can you imagine you're just chilling at home <laughs> and then you just suddenly lose $300? <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened to me. Like, I'm just chilling and I'm like, you've lost $300 for existing. <laughs> it's like, cool. Thanks guys. Well, that's company money. I'm not going to find out until a month later. <laughs> I would notice if you did this though, if you're on my ass. I wouldn't <laughs> fucking do it. <laughs> Cause I know if I did it, you would be pissed off. Yeah, I would. I yeah. Would, I would. yeah. That's what makes it a good reveal Jesus though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't believe this. That's why if you do do it, you have to reveal it on trash. Yeah. yeah. You can yeah. Tell me I'll reveal it like six months later. <laughs> Oh my God. It's like, damn, well. nice car, Joey. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, you don't want to know. Oh well, that Fuck has so been uh, this episode of Trash Taste. I'd, we did I'd literally- I on that for like a month. I wanted to tell you so bad. God damn We it. did literally end on a bombshell there. We did. Yeah. yeah. Thanks guys. What so you time. sat in on this shareholders meeting. This was cool. Cool. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the meeting went well. <laughs> I hope footage. it was fruitful <laughs> and we got something good out of it. I think it was well worth it. Other than a five second vertically filmed <laughs> shitty video. What do you mean? It's a great bit. It's of a great bit. Not even a trash taste member. <laughs> I'm in it. God's Getting. in it. Getting a shot in his mouth from a bunny girl. <laughs> well, it's part of the, you know, we call it Nihon no Omotenashi. Yeah. We call it, we call Hope you had fun, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Russell. <laughs>
fuck's sake. <laughs> hey, look at all these patrons, though. Thank you, patrons, for allowing us to make poor financial decisions yeah. and not inform Joe. If you were ever wondering where the Patreon money was going, <laughs> now you know. It was used to steal money from under my nose. Hey, if you'd like to support the show, uh, hopefully not in ways like this, I then mean, uh, hey, go over to our hey. Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. And uh, by the way, for all you patrons, we have a special Patreon video this month. Roll the clip, Moon on. Here it's it got is. five seconds. Anime oh, worlds sorry. I'd live in. Well, I mean, most I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go through it. Right, let's, 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 see. let's see. Honestly, two. I should have, this should have been one. This is just our world five years away from now when VR porn but, finally- Wait, but enough. if you die in Yeah, no, game, that's gonna be fucking life. great. And uh, <laughs> hey, if you like to support the show, then get on over to patreon.com slash trash days. Also follow us on Twitter, send us a meme on the subreddit. If you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. I certainly hate these guys' faces now. I'm $300 short from doing absolutely nothing. So how much is that in today's money? It's like $900. Oh, I bad, is it? it doesn't matter. I lost a lot of money for existing. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool guys. Thank you for telling me about this shareholders meeting. Anyway though, Fuck's sake. that has been this episode of Trash Taste. 800, 800 bucks. Cool, thanks right. man. Thank you, Appreciate it. Think of it as the tip for, for us being great friends. Oh shit. Oh, friend tax, is it? Friend tax. <laughs> Sick. Remember when we went to we'll LA and we had to, to hold the Joey, Joey sign up? <laughs> Joey, we'll treat you to a meal. We'll yeah, do we'll an expensive right. meal. We'll put it on the company. On the trash. Yeah, we'll put it on the company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get a free meal out of it too. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, well, that's for All trash right. taste. We'll see you guys right. next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.